All right, and here we are, live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network for the 1v2 men's box grand final for the Nationals for 2023. As the boys just uh, line up in front of us, I'm joined uh, by my mate in the box. Welcome, it's not cold down here, is it, Lockie Williams? Yeah, thanks, Tony. Yeah, it's, uh, I was up on the camera last time. I think I'm glad to, to be down now. That winch has picked up nicely, so... Um, yeah, nice and, nice and cool out there for the players. Perfect conditions, really. It is indeed. All right, and we're about to hand over to our Master of Ceremonies, James Breed, as he uh, gets the ceremonies underway. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alan Lure Box Court in sunny Altona. Starting with the referees, Steve Green. Brendan Pinkerton. Luke Teasing. Representing South Australia. Number two, Jesse Winnen. Number four, Cam McLaughlin. Number eight, Michael Green. Number nine, James Mullins, captain. Number 10, Anthony Green. Number 14, Josh Wood. Number 15, Harrison Turner. Number 16, Tyler Lemming. Number 17, Anthony Coyne. Number 22, Nathan Twist. Number 36, Connor McGee. Number 41, Cam Adams. And number 77, Britt Williams. Head coach is Anthony Filippa. And now, representing Victoria, in goal number zero, Blake Watson. In goal number one, Nick Shitty. Number three, Toby Templeton. Captain number six, Caleb Hall. Number seven, Tim Retchie. Number eight, Tyler Reynolds. Captain number 10, Keith Nyberg. Number 13, Lachlan McDonald. Number 15, Lucas Parsons Pintiao. Number 18, Gabriel Doyle. Number 19, Marcus Arambatsis. Number 20, Dan Minterplay. Number 21, Darren Ricketts. Number 22, Tony Josephs. Number 23, Aaron Aldridge. Captain number 26, Alistair Goodney. Uh, 31, Chris Plum. Number 34, Dan Hall. Number 43, Travis Crawl. And number 126, Brendan Freeman. Coach Greg Mullison. And assistant coach Rocket Hetmeyer. But everyone, please stand for the Australian national anthem. There we go, the, uh, and thanks to, to uh, James Bleed for the uh, Master of Ceremonies there for introducing uh, both our referees and our respective teams. And Lockie, we got a game here now after that last one. We certainly do. Well, if anything to go by, we've seen that uh, form this week hasn't really mattered. The, yesterday's game, WA pushed the Victorians in that women's final. We saw Queensland come within a couple of seconds, really, of, uh, of taking down Western Australia in the third v fourth in men's. Victoria, they've been the dominant side of the men's, but if those two games are anything to go by, it's only a flip of the coin as we head into this one. Absolutely. So what does South Australia have to do, and where's their most important player? 
I two. think uh, we've seen Jesse win in the last couple of days, really. He's, uh, he's going to be the key. He's proven the key to their uh, offensive line. Um, just a little stagnant down in the forward half when they, they last met um, a couple of days ago. So they want to be a little bit more free moving in there. Um, just uh, being dangerous around that, that five hole as well in front of the goal. Um, and probably just a little bit smarter as well. You don't want to play one-on-one -on -one in that attack with these, uh, with these Victorian defenders out there. And games here. McDonald out in the face-off. Coming out with Adams. Adams has been good. No Aldred. He's been outstanding. Yeah, Not certainly has. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, Greg Mollison just happy to, to rotate between the two. But the, uh, the other question we were trying to figure out, who starts in goals for South Australia? It's Brett Williams that gets the job. Blake Watson, he's, uh, he's once again been picked by Greg Mollison for the Victorian goal. So we wish all the boys the best of luck here in this uh, 2023 Lacrosse Australia National Final. Ball to be won. McDonald wins. McLaughlin goes through. Adams. McLaughlin with the ball, not uh, a good job there from Cam McLaughlin. Look at him, he's being monstered. You can tell the uh, intensity that's uh, out there now, but Williams gets first touch and leaming out on the outer side here. He's picked up by Gluten, eh? But uh, there is a player back there and winning, as you say. I think Jesse, he got 10 yesterday in the, uh, in the win. He probably almost needs that today if the South Australia side are uh, to uh, really uh, get up amongst these uh, big Vs. Young Green getting a start for South Australia. Kicks it to Leeming. Leeming fires. Good save down low. And you always like that as a goalie to get the first one. Yeah, good confidence builder for Blake Watson there. An early side art just getting his stick across and Freeman in transition now. And we've seen that throughout the week. They've been happy with him uh, with the ball in his stick. Young Toby Templeton gets a first look out there. Early uh, possession for him in this final. I'll tell you what, I'm looking for the butter knife. He's sitting <laughs> here, here, he just he gets the ball. He's uh, made his way through. He got uh, four against SA last time they played and, uh, and a nickname. Uh, but uh, that one's fired to the side. Michael Green with the ball gets uh, under immense pressure there from a couple of uh, the big Vs. And I tell you what, there's never any love lost, is there? That's over and back. So that's going to be a, a tip and a reset that i was going to say no one actually took possession of that and uh even though there was a tip i would have thought that that might have uh and, and a there goal is scorer. the, butter, the knife. butter knife tyler reynolds straight into it opening <laughs> the uh the final here one nil victoria courtesy of tyler reynolds so uh yeah no one picked that ball up it was tip 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 the clock's running out it's over and yeah, so maybe uh, the referee is interpreting that potentially South Australia had possession, so Victoria taken back. It, yeah, it's, it's a hard one to see there, but uh, I mean, yeah, Tyler Reynolds had a quiet day yesterday, but um, really bouncing straight back out there. One nil, Victoria. Well, he's come to spread his love here today, the butter knife, and uh, here we go. Oh, nice flick, great to plumb. There's a there, here's some old heads, and a great save from Williams on that left hand foot. Huge there from Brett Williams. Just uh, that's textbook there from Victoria. Nice little pass from Aldred to Plum. And, uh, yeah, Williams up, up to the task to deny Carla Paul on that occasion. He's just about stepped on that in the middle of his soul and uh, stopped that. So great work from Williams in the cage. He gets his save as well. And uh, ball up the top here with Winnan. And Winnan, if he's on early, he'll fire a couple and really let them rip. But uh, they realise how bad this is. And here they come. Pumba straight through. Just misses. Looks down. And... Uh, Freeman just says, let's think better of it. Let's have a good offensive set. So a couple of sets for South Australia now, just kept out from Victoria. And they'll be wanting to work that ball around a little bit more, I think. Up the top, McDonald. And another uh, 30 on the uh, clock there. Yeah, we've seen uh, Parsons Quintia loves to get to this left hand, but it's Toby Templeton that drives on this occasion. And a good knockdown there in defence. So ball to be one. Young Green. Oh, oh had some of that really. early. I tell you what, but Green bounced up as quick as he bounced down. He just said, sit down, Lucas Parsons. What a hit there. Parsons says, welcome to the big dance, young Anthony Green. But Anthony Green goes, is that all you've got, Lucas Parsons? Yeah, it's... Uh, to cop the hit and to bounce back up, that sends nearly just as big a message as the hit does. That's it. You know what? What a great... That's just at its finest, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. As we see Plum just look inside and uh, Williams just picking that one off. So execution not quite there, but that's the sort of movement you want to see from South Australia down the other end. And but Coyne. a potential fast break here. 
And Coyne's been good through the week. He's uh, he's had a motor and uh, Jesse winning. Oh, that's just uh, yeah, great work from winning there to uh, keep it. But again, this is what they did in the first game. They're at 10 seconds. They haven't got made it into their offensive bit. And, uh, you know, they're shooting bombs from outside the restraining line, Lockie. Yeah, exactly right. We're, we're seeing uh, it's playing out pretty similar to, to the other game at the moment, the first couple of minutes of this one. Just a little sloppy turnover there Bang, from Victoria. Wood hits the how ground. about the physicality from Aaron Batts? Bang, he goes Aaron again. Batts goes again. Tell you what, this is this is my quarter, sort of game. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, you can tell the the intensity level's just gone up to 11, and that's only in the commentary box. <laughs> <laughs> so winning with the ball as James Mullins gets his first touch, and uh, Leeming looks inside. Great say, oh Leeming gets one on the board for uh, South Australia, and that's what they need early. Yeah, fantastic work there from Leeming. Um, Probably, a, you know, Victorian just a little lapse there to, to let him into the hole, but um, fantastic work. Face dodge and a nice little finish there. Scores well, you saw, you saw there Victoria sort of crushed that crease when Leeming came across. They almost ran into each other, which created the screen for the goalie. Leeming just found the hole and uh, bang, there's one all. Yeah, so, great work there from Tyler Leeming. And uh, let's, hope, let's hope this continues all day because uh, as Mullins comes down, he's under pressure there from Doyle. And the ball flicks out, and South Australia with the ball. Cam McLaughlin, he's been very, very good this week, uh, Cam. Yeah, just... Uh, uh, but that's going to be 10 seconds. Needs to move that needs ball a little bit quicker. Oh, no. And the uh, ball picked up again. Got out of jail on that occasion. <laughs> that's a turnover down in that back half. Can be costly so many times. Plum just missing wide on that occasion, though. Well, the funny thing is, when they turn it over, there's one second on the clock to uh, get it over. So they probably uh, did him a failure. But here we go. Good save again from Williams and uh, just to fall on the ball there was winning. He, he's everywhere winning. Yeah, certainly is. Uh, probably was kept out of it a little bit in the last time that they played Victoria, but you can see having a, an immediate impact uh, already. So Twisk with the ball, kicks it over there to Mullins. Mullins down to Leeming. And Leeming, the goal scorer for South Australia early in the first. About nine and a half to go in the first. Jesse Winnan steps inside. I love the way he squares his hips. Oh, tink, tink, tink. That one's in uh, off the top bar and a reset there and 30 seconds for uh, South Australia. Yeah, just uh, zipping it along a little bit quicker here. South Australia looking a little bit sharper. Mullins again gets the shot off. Glutenay, Watson, oh, is there an own goal in there? Is that Has that crossed goal? the line? So Glutenay flicked that one back, but uh, boy, he's making his goalie work. Yeah, and officials down there right on the line saying no Quintel. goal. He's just going straight to the cage. Oh, another bar. Tell you what. There'll be some bars uh, in the game, but the boys will hit it after, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's a fantastic play from Luke's Parsons. A little unlucky, just hit the underside of the bar and bounce out. Oh, the butter knife gets knocked down. Tyler looks up the top. Templeton. Aaron Batts has got five yesterday. He'll be looking to score. Turner, he's a big man to put down, and Doyle doesn't do a good job of it as he bounces off himself. And uh, ball comes down and hits Twisk. And Winnan comes on. They've got Green and Wood and Green. So there's a fair bit of Green down in the uh, offensive end for uh, South Australia. Yeah, they've settled in uh, much better the last couple of minutes, South Australia. Just feel like um, they came out of the blocks a little uh, ambitious, uh, a little anxious, sorry, but uh, they've settled in nicely into this game now. Winnan fires off the keeper and uh, picked up uh, almost picked up, almost picked up, still almost picked up. Great job from Young Green. That's the second time he's just been lined up. And Wood, he gets, he gets, he gets hit again, and it's going to be a loose ball push. So good work there from Josh Green, put his body on the line, and uh, and Young Anthony Green, he's just loving it. Yeah, fantastic to see, don't isn't it? So South Australia with another opportunity. We're one all here, about 18 seconds on that shot clock. Early in the first in this uh, national final. Oh, Twisk. Great to feed inside from Leeming. Great vision. But uh, Doyle, he brings it back the other way. And, he, and Plummy's going, give me the ball. I need to start my highlight reel. That's Chris <laughs> Plum. And Caleb says, well, I'm the one that brings you into it. So give me the ball. And uh, So we've seen oh, a bit more of Reynolds out there, but just faked out this time. So oh. now it's uh, Ratchy that finds it. Another good save there from Williams. And South Australia uh, with Williams in the cage. 
They've got me and Bobby McGee sitting here uh, just in case something goes wrong. But uh, Williams standing up at the moment. Butter knife. And uh, not this time, Brett, he says. I've seen you. And winning out the back. And that's what he does really well. But uh, just didn't quite find the, uh, find the handle. And now Jesse's going to have to work back into offense as Hall looks. Ratch. Back to Hall. Hall finds Plum. Plum finds the post. That'll be a reset if they can get it in their stick. Twisk fighting there. And a reset for uh, Victoria. Plum pops it over. And a good save again from Williams. They're out here, two on one. But uh, they'll be coming from the box. Glutenay says, yeah, not likely. Yeah, collapsing while the Victorian defence with their box down that side of the, uh, the court in this quarter. So South Australia with another opportunity. We're 6-10 uh, to go in the... Uh, First, scores are one all if you're just joining us live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network as uh, Leeming uh, is heading to the uh, good work there from uh, Young Green too. Saw the clock running out. Throw it down the back corner, almost icing there. But, uh, but you know, the temperature's not quite like that yet. <laughs> yeah, so just uh, haven't quite settled into it, Victoria, but Parsons couldn't hear how good was that. It's the second time he's found that bar. Tell you what. There has been a few uh, few bars already in this uh, in this first quarter, as we see Hall come on and he says, "Give me the ball," and the ball just uh, up and over. And uh, they brought their goalie off. They've uh, okay, yeah, so, so we've got an advantage call here. It's a penalty coming for okay. South Australia. So goalie comes six in offence, and Kintel, good save there from Williams, and uh, penalty coming here. So uh, we will. It's a slash. For one minute, and you'll see Michael Green, who has uh, who has served a few penalties uh, for South Australia this week. Yeah, certainly has. Uh, yeah, spent a little bit of time in there. First opportunity on a power play here for Victoria. Plum Hall meant to play Ratchy and Aaron Batis out there as the five. So first look at a uh, power play here for Victoria in this final, and uh, they worked it really well yesterday. And, and throughout the week. Yeah, they just have this patient build-up, but when they uh, they know when to pull the trigger, really. As you see, uh, Caleb Hall into Dan meant to play there. No luck on that occasion. Easily uh, saved from Williams. That could be a hold. And uh, we've got a penalty on there. So... Sorry. Well, I was going to say, I uh, saw the arm come up as if there was a penalty to be had there. I thought... Uh, and the South Australian uh, bench next to us thought the same too, that uh, he may have may have had the ball when that uh, occurred. But not to be. And South Australia will find themselves in attack with uh, about 15 left on the shot clock, uh, just trying to run this penalty out. Yeah, so I look pretty content just uh, holding this one out. Um, gives Jesse Wooden a chance here. Five seconds on the shot clock. Does he just let one loose? Certainly does. He certainly does. And uh, but it's only Joseph there up against... Uh, and good work there coming in the back side is Adams. And uh, this is where you've uh, got to watch out for those. Uh, look at Jesse winning. And, uh, and an over and back. Right on the spot. And uh, correct call. Took, took possession in the offensive half. Stepped over and, uh, you know, the referee's right on that. Yeah, we're at a point now where you think Victoria would want to be uh, starting to capitalise on some opportunities that... Had a couple of looks without uh, hitting the scoreboard too often. Brett Williams, once again, huge there. <laughs> he's uh, he's uh, certainly eaten the right thing for breakfast and he's <laughs> come to play. But Plummy, he'll keep firing if he's given the opportunity, as will Hole. And Hole says, uh, Plummy, that's how you do it, mate. Just give the ball to me and uh, watch me just put it to the side of Brett rather than keep hitting him. And uh, Victoria with their second of the game. And uh, Hole gets his first. And uh, maybe he just goes over and has a little mention of that to uh, Plum. <laughs> yeah, just uh, good patience there from Caleb Hall. Just wanted to line up the scopes, really uh, zoning on where he's putting it. And, uh, yeah, precision shot there to put Victoria back ahead. And that releases the penalty also, uh, as it was a holding penalty. So uh, a score will release it. And uh, here's Aldred in the middle. Cam uh, doing a great job there, McLaughlin. I... Uh, Given the fact that uh, Cam Adams played most of it the other day and won nearly every face-off, it'd be good to see that, you know, I mean, SA switching it around and looks inside and uh, great work from uh, Mental. Dan meant to play. And uh, Williams, he's been good so far. Yeah, certainly been up to the challenge at the moment, that's for sure. 
And uh, three seconds to get it over, two, one. And uh, you know what, uh, Tyler, just, oh, Jesse Winnan uh, gets an opportunity. Oh, missed, missed the body there. And you cannot, uh, you cannot, you, if you're gonna hit the body, you need to hit the body, especially against Jesse Winnan. He's too smart. And you just see him one-on-one -on -one with the goal. He, he doesn't miss many. Yeah, I tell you what, I reckon Greg Mollison will be pulling his hair out seeing that one. Two players just go flying by. Um, yeah, you've got to run through the number and uh, Jesse Winnan good enough on his feet there just to see them go flying by and a player like that, once he gets into that position, he's going to put it in more times than not. Exactly. He's, uh, I'm going to say, I said it yesterday, he's about a 95% uh, scorer when he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And you just see there a smart lacrosse player or box lacrosse player. Yeah, definitely right. So ball to be one back in the middle and we see Adams. So maybe that's the matchup. They've decided Adams and Wood oh, picked up. Great pick up there from Hall. Uh, and that one could go over and back. So a South Australian ball. And uh, it's two all here if you're just joining us. And uh, send us some shout outs. We'll try to get to you at the uh, quarter time break. But uh, two all here in the uh, national final between South Australia and Victoria uh, with 2.47 to go in the first. And uh, it's gone pretty quickly here, Lockie, the first quarter. Yeah, it certainly has. It's uh, been a tight contest at the moment. Feel like Victoria's slight edge, but just haven't been able to hit on the scoreboard so far. And Jesse Wynnan is, uh, is looking threatening so far, that's for sure. Well, he's got about one of the eight, I think he needs. Oh, that's. That was almost really, really good there from uh, McLaughlin. Great pick up there from Leeming. Leeming fires. Got a couple from there the other day. I reckon he yeah, got a couple did. from behind there the other day, Leeming. Fired the ball and uh, good. had to be a good save down there. So Freeman's got Templeton if you wanted to use him. It said it was Aaron Batis is wide oh. open on the bottom crease too, <laughs> but he just opted to hold it, wait for the reset. Not necessarily the worst call. As long as he doesn't bring it up here and try to kick it back. Because <laughs> uh, like, his soccer skills leave a lot to be desired. Uh, yeah, certainly do. For, for the young Puma. Uh, Aaron Batsis looks inside. Oh, Ratch with the quick stick. And yeah, nearly had time just to take that one, did Tim Ratch. He probably had more time than I think he thought he did. Well, time's about to run out. And there we go, Young Green. He goes. And uh, the butter knife just uh, trying to uh, spread him out there. <laughs> And Parsons Quintier getting down to defend as well. Uh, I think he saw him and said, I'm going to hold uh, hold up where I am. Thank you very much. Yep. And and smart from Young Green there, wasn't it? Yeah, he, you know, he had the opportunity. Oh, looks in. Adams. Bang! Adams gets nailed again by Lucas Parsons. I'll tell you what, if he's, if he's a war plane, he's got uh, notches everywhere on it. <laughs> Good take there from Cam Adams to get the shot off at speed, but meant to play coming at speed himself goes all the oh, way. Bar, Is that bar. Piper back in? Where's that the ball like finished a, that up? That looks like a double bar. And the official's he, right there. And he's sitting on it. Is he laying it? It's somewhere. Yep, no, he laid it. Great save there from Brett Williams to stop that like, one from going like in. He looked like a chicken then. <laughs> great save from Williams. But what a great shot. Yeah, the double bar double there. Bar. And Unlucky not to find the back of the net. And normally what they do is they find the back of the keeper and just uh, with momentum, winning with uh, Freeman. Just uh, looks like he's fencing with Freeman. Green comes up, sets a good pick, fires, winning. So ball to be one. Oh, there's a, just a clash of uh, big bodies there. And bang, there's another one. Leeming picks the ball up. Uh, great pick up, a reset here. And uh, ball comes up to win him. 29 seconds left on the clock. 24, so there's about a five second differential. So uh, maybe a three second differential. Yeah, it'd be huge here for South Australia if they could find one late. And I'll tell you what, Greg Mollison be saying, keep this one out, Leeming. Trying to work a uh, little push there. We got a penalty on the play. So a penalty here, Leeming shoots. And uh, we're gonna find a push here. And that's going to go on uh, Dan Hall. Yeah, so that's nearly just as big as a goal there for South Australia to pretty much have a full two minutes by, uh, when they get back in the second quarter. That's going to be a, a big game for them. Three, four, legal cross check, minor penalty. Legal cross check, minor penalty. Say when, Ronda. So, uh, so four seconds, four seconds left on the game clock. And uh, they'll look for a quick one here. Jesse Winnan fires down. Oh, Twist just drops a handle, but that's okay. That's okay. They will be in a in a, in a power play opportunity in the uh, 
Second quarter to start it with 156 left on the penalty, and that was a crack at first quarter, Lockie. Yeah, exactly right. Nothing splitting these teams to a piece, but if you were to be uh, a head coach at the moment, I think if you're Anthony Filippa, you're not too uh, unhappy. You're pretty pleased with, with what you saw out there in that first term. So and to, to start man up in this uh, second quarter, um, you'd be pretty happy with where things sit at the moment. So uh, we'll just have a look at the goal scorers for the first quarter. I'll let you go through then, Lock. Yeah, so uh, Jesse Winnan. Nice uh, goal to work his way into the inside with one and Tyler Leeming another for South Australia and down the other end, Tyler Reynolds. Well, he didn't wait too long to open the account. He's got the one and Caleb Paul, a nice finish as well for just the one as well. And I'll tell you what else, the uh, socials are going off for this game and uh, we've got plenty of people on uh, online, live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network. Peter Greenhouse says, love your work, Tony Watts. Well, no, what about Lachlan uh, Williams as well? I mean, I mean, outstanding. Uh, Liz Balfour, good luck. Go, uh, go Vix. Maria Fantasia says, go Reds. Fiona Turner, let's go SA. Good luck, number 16. So uh, Harrison Turner with some fans there. Uh, Liam Fothergill says, O'Doyle rules. Uh, North Adelaide Lacrosse Club says, let's go Reds. Judy Mentorplay says, go Vix. And what else we got here? Tysha Skews, uh, one of the uh, SA ladies says, let's go SA watching uh, on our drive back to Adelaide. So, uh, She'll be sitting in the back seat, hopefully, uh, just with some ice packs on after the week they had. Simon says, let's go, SA. Would love to hand the trophy to you boys. And uh, Rod Bannister says, hello from Canada. Big shout out to you, Rod Bannister. Great that you can join us on the Australian Lacrosse Network. And we hope you're enjoying the uh, 23 Lacrosse Australia uh, Box National Championships. And uh, Evan Locke says, let's go, Reds. Darren uh, Watson says, go, the Blue Boys. Donna Wood says, keep it up, Reds. And Pete Greenhouse says, great first quarter, SA. And as you say, I think, uh, yeah, Anthony Flepp is pretty happy with that quarter. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, I think the key now is that you've just got to maintain it and keep it going for this uh, this second term. This is where Victoria got the jump the other uh, the other day um, in that game. That would have been a seven or eight to uh, goal quarter to, to not many in that um, in that match. So um, important for South Australia to keep the concentration, back it up here. You know, a goal on the power play would be crucial. Um, for Victoria, just a, a couple of things to sharpen up. Probably the finishing as well. They, uh, you know, Brett Williams has had a great start to this contest, uh, trying to find a, a couple of ways to, to beat him. Um, and they're uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically probably getting beaten a little bit on the inside um, a couple of times, Victoria. So um, a few things for them to work on. It's almost deja vu at the moment of the game yesterday for the women. Yeah, yeah, it really it's quite is. early. But this, is, this has been the quarters. It's either the second quarter or the third quarter where things are blowing out in, in, in the men's games over the over the journey, you know. And uh, I just think finals lacrosse brings a whole different mental aspect. So, and uh, Aldred says, well, I've been doing this all week and I'm going to continue to do it. Looks down at Plum. And uh, as I said, the, the movement the last time these two played, uh, you know, they were chalk and cheese. You know, you had new... Uh, South Australia just standing still, you know, they're probably almost a bit uh, shy of the of the contact, uh, and they've grown as the uh, week's gone on. But uh, Victoria were running an immense amount of, um, or oh, Plum just uh, steps down, he's in the crease, and the time uh, runs out. So, uh, oh no, we're going to have a reset. Okay. So a big win there for Victoria. <laughs> so. Um, to, to win from the face off and then get a reset they've effectively they're going to have about 10 or 15 seconds man down really um, but uh, here we go Reynolds just uh, picked oh I just need to pick the ball up and uh, Green he says I'll show you how to do it pick the ball up but uh, I'll tell you what who else is going to show you how oh over and back great pressure there from Lucas Parsons and that's what he brings isn't it it's not it's not the oh bang some of that can at McLaughlin. <laughs> and there's plenty. Of, there's been plenty of willingness to uh, run through a number so far. Yeah, certainly not a backward step out there at the moment. Great to see, and you wouldn't expect any different with the, the big V and the uh, and the Reds out there. Yep, there's uh, never any love loss. Uh, as I said, uh, as, a, as a South Australian and a uh, like, uh, Victorian in the commentary box, there's never any love loss, is there? <laughs> yeah, exactly right. You know what? If you, if you want to beat someone, it's either the big V or it's the red. You yeah, know? Spot on. And uh, we've got 
got about 15 seconds left on the uh, shot clock, but uh, two seconds on the penalty. So about to be released. And Dan Hall, he's had a, he's had a think about things over in the uh, penalty box. And great shot there from Plum. We, Neil, we Neil, don't want to yeah. talk him up too much, <laughs> but... Probably the first uh, regulation goal I think he scored all week, Chris Plum there, yeah. but um, just waited for, did the team thing, waited for the numbers to arrive and um, see how the Australia just sagged and sagged and he said, well, this is uh, my spot here to, to finish. And nearly a two-goal play, I think, for Victoria there to, to be man down and then score your own at the end of that penalty. Um, that's, that's a huge momentum swinger, I think. It is, but South Australia were almost defensively looking for that man coming on. And they sort of all, almost turned and Plum said, well, OK, you've taken your eye off the ball. And, and, it was, and it was quite a simple goal, to be honest, in the context of the ones we've seen this, uh, this week. And uh, the butter knife gets it down the bottom to Hall. Aaron Batsis. And Kroll comes on. He, he was good yesterday, Kroll. Yeah, handy finisher, Travis Kroll. So interesting to see if he gets on the end of a couple today. But Tr Caleb Paul all the oh. way through. Caleb Paul! <laughs> How Paul. about that? He just, he had the ball dispossessed by the defender, popped out just over the top, picks it up and says, uh, you know what? You don't want it, I'll pop it in the back of the net. And bang, hole. What an effort there, Caleb Paul. The, the move to get all the way through and then the follow-up, it's just as good. And the finish, oh, wow, hey. that's yep. fantastic to see there. You know what? But to have the presence to lose the ball in that contest, eyes not off it. He just, he literally just fell back into his stick from the bounce. And then to put it back in the back of the net with everything going on around him shows why he's an absolute quality box for cross play. Yeah, certainly. He nearly had the blinkers on, his eyes only on the ball there. It's uh, a break on this occasion, gives Victoria the ball from the middle once again. So that centre domination, we can see it happening. Uh, it really hurts the other Australia the other day, and it's starting to creep in once again out here. And again, we said we said the second or third quarter, there's been games that have been blown open. We'll very all of that rolled in. Oh, that has gone in. No goal. No goal. Disallowed. And uh, Plummy says, well, why? The camera was rolling. Why is that not a goal? <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, Steve Green right on, uh, right on it there, right up to to the cage and saw him in the crease first it is but uh, as i said you know these second or third quarters there's been some blowouts in these games over the week uh green opens up in the middle oh pumba just comes in and uh, a one-hander from winning and uh just hits the deck but yeah at four two got to be uh, careful that this doesn't open up here and there's an opening here for hall he's already got one now he's got two and uh, caleb hall Shows his class there, and South Australia really needed to win that contest on the wing. Well, we said before the game, who was it going to be that stands up? It's, you know, big game players like Caleb Paul, and he's doing it so far. Um, goal number three now for Caleb, and um, taking this game by the scruff of the neck as a, a player like he would do. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, and, and again, he's probably the class of winning for South Australia with the finishing of whole one-on-one. -on -one. You know, they're, they're elite. Yeah, exactly these guys. right. So ball back in the centre, and McDonald. Oh, great pace there from, uh, wow, Plum. Uncharacteristic miss on the first one, but just follows oh. it up again. That was uh, very good ball movement by Victoria. And Plum, or oh, just pops that one a little bit too high. No, no, white men can jump. Um, Aaron Batsis, he, he'll be looking to get on the scoreboard when he can. And good work there from Williams. So as I said, the last couple of goals from Victoria, they've got three quick ones in about the first four minutes, but one in a man down situation as uh, Winnan. Winnan's nearly snuck out the back here. Can oh, he get all the way through, Jesse just, Winnan? Just, just not uh, quite. He tries the alley-oop <laughs> almost to himself. And Victoria with pace come back the other way and uh, Hall again looks up. And if he's not feeding, he's, if he is not putting him in, that was an outstanding assist yeah put it on a platter for Dan Ricketts and he said thank you very much I'm going to give you the assist now puts that in the back of the net and fantastic goal is you can just see Caleb Paul just the awareness to know that where the plays were coming from where the empty space was and um, it wasn't the the prettiest of passes but just to put it exactly where but he it wanted was in the right spot wasn't it exactly right you know and that's a 10 pass so Ricketts with the goal there and uh, Ricketts every time we've uh, he's coming from defense and uh, that's his third goal that we've seen in the last couple of days yeah, exactly right. Good finisher there. And uh, Victoria, well, they're on a roll here. And Aaron Aldridge from oh, the middle again. Fast again. break. And down and Hall says thank you very much. And it's just starting to get a little ugly here. 
You might see South Australia call a timeout at some point just to reassess some of this with about 10 and a half to go. But uh, there's some uh, really just starting to put the foot on the gas of the uh, big V. And 7-2 in, in the blink of an eye in five minutes. Yeah, just uh, that momentum well and truly uh, on the back of Victoria now. Uh, you could, they just rode out that penalty earlier and um, it felt like once they did that, it's all their way at the moment. And well, domination in the middle continuing. Yeah, well, South Australia need to find what they found in that first quarter because uh, we saw them against WA in that second half, 14 to one. And if they can, we know they've got the goods. They just need to find that intensity and, uh, and, and get it amongst the group. And uh, you know, it's only a five goal game at the moment. And good save there from Williams. It is. And the Williams will uh, <laughs> extricate himself from the floor. <laughs> Yeah, so important now for South Australia, not necessarily, I think, to hit the scoreboard, although that would be ideal, but um, just to, to stem the flow a little bit, take some possession, um, really play some uh, lacrosse down this end of the court because it feels like it's been a while since they've had a, a full 30. Yep, and good work there from Gluten, eh? He was, all, he was wearing... Uh Wearing, uh, winning like a cheap suit there. And, uh, in I defense. think the Sharks can smell well, the blood in the water at the moment. Hang on, in the offensive <laughs> end. He's staying in the offensive end. We were talking yesterday, it might have been a 15 to 1 shot to uh, put one in the cage. We reckon the odds have gone up, but gamble responsibly. And yeah. uh, just throwing the ball away. It's like the Sharks can smell the blood in the water at the moment for Victoria. They... Um, just down the defensive end, really extending, putting that pressure on South Australia so they can't re uh, settle down oh, there. Hole Another just shot on. Feeds Aaron Batsis. And a good save again from Williams. But uh, two to one contest everywhere here at the moment. Hole up the top. Re uh, fresh, fresh 30. Looks inside. And another great save from Brett. Jeez, he's flexible down there. And a Turner on the outer side just brings the ball up. Just needs to wait for his. Uh, reinforcements and twisk and there's another man that uh, you know what if he if he can come into the game for south australia nathan twisk and tyler leeming uh, you know these lefties that, that, that play on that side and that's a good uh, good throw there from winning but uh, great defense from the big v and uh, ball down the back corner to be one and it's one by doyle that could be a hold and, and that might there. be a loose ball push okay so, uh, in the way of Victoria there, I thought there was uh, on the South Australians end, but uh, yeah, Luke Keesing was right in front of that. So, and they got 10 seconds, there's three seconds, two seconds, one sec. Okay, just enough. Oh, Hicks in the hole, hole looks down, steps inside, rolls inside. Good defense there from the Reds, and ball back up the top. He's got plum, he doesn't need a, he doesn't need a second chance to uh, fire a ball, plummy. Hall. Oh, that was a great pass. We're right behind that. BTB from uh, <laughs> from Ratchy was uh, ambitious, <laughs> but I like I like the style. And uh, South Australia will bring it uh, back into offense. And Jesse Winham will just uh, mosey the ball up over halfway. Another name that and just came out there, and it looks like we're going to have a timeout on yeah. South Australia. I was about to say James Mullins. We haven't seen a whole lot of as well, no. so. Um, an important one to try and get involved in the game. Well, you saw with the uh, WA game, they ran that those three lefties with uh, Mullins and uh, and uh, Twisky. Yep. And they had Leeming down the bottom, and they were really working that left hand side, and and it paid off because then Jesse Winnan uh, got free on the right, and they could uh, they could make those feeds. Um, but you're right, Mullins. Uh, we haven't called his name much at the moment, which tells you he hasn't been in the play much. Yeah, certainly. And uh, you could just see the energy levels as they headed off to their uh, respective boxes there, Victoria. Well, they are absolutely up and about right now. South Australia, a um, little flat, but uh, I'm sure Anthony Flepper will get them going now. We saw that after a couple of timeouts last time they played Victoria, they came out and well, hit the scoreboard twice. straight away. So. Yep. Um, I'm sure he'll rev them up here, just refresh the messaging that uh, they were doing in the first quarter. This game's not, not out of control at the moment. Five no. goals isn't the end of the world with you know, two and a half quarters still to but play. That, but that's a great timeout, and we've probably said about the 10-minute mark, and it's about two minutes later that that needed to be done, just to stem that flow. I think they've stemmed it a little bit. Get to have a talk now. And a couple of people online, Nicole Winnan says, uh, let's go SA, Miles and Margot, see more goals, Jesse. Well, we, we want that too. 
because uh, uh, that'll only get me up and about uh, <laughs> as, a, as the score gets uh, closer. Joe Dodd says, go South Australia. Simon Rafu says, uh, go Victoria. And uh, and then there's a heap of people online watching. Dwayne Edwards, Scotty Peterson, K-Man, Hannah Mathwin, Tom Freeman, Jaden Taylor, Stacey Appleton, and David McRae. And I'm going to say there was about 90% of South Australians that I just said there, but <laughs> obviously not over here. And uh, we hope you're enjoying it live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network with uh, Lachlan Williams and myself, Tony Watts, here in commentary. And Mullins, I'll say his name again. In he goes. So Leeming and uh, Twists in there. Mullins is in there. And uh, they've got a goal and a oh, great save. And uh, just uh, pulls the ball out. But that's a, that's a better offensive set. Yeah, definitely. Good movement. Uh, Nathan Twist got a, a free look into the crease, just not, uh, not giving the ball. But, yeah, a little bit better out of that timeout. So Victoria back in their offensive end. And uh, ball kicks up here. Tyler with the ball. Oh, cry. there he is. Oh, extra case. But Jesse Winnett says, you know what? You might be the uh, butter knife, but I am uh, here to put a bit of rust on it. And great work there to uh, defensively. To uh, it could be. It's a team lifting moment, that one. Just for a player like that, to, he's been weaving past players all day. But to be sent back uh, from whence he came, it it's a, a great team lifting effort there from Jesse Winnett. Yeah, so well, let's see if South Australia can capitalise on that defensive work. Uh, they ran the shot clock out, so uh, let's see if that takes a little bit of inspiration and, and Winnan gets the ball back in his stick here. As uh, Josh Wood just looking uh, for an outlet and uh, kicks that outlet to Leeming. Leeming looks inside, Wood just steps in, pops. Uh, good uh, defence there, fires over the back. Oh, that nearly got picked off and there's an outlet here. Aldred, oh. He's a big man, but even that was too tall for him there. And South Australia... Rushing back into defence and they're coming from the other end uh, into defence so out of their <coughs> respective boxes. And bang, there we go. Chris Plum says, thank you. Oh, no goal. All right, disallowed again. And one coming back the other way. Anthony Green. Oh, what a check there what from a check from He's doing Caleb it at every Hall. end at the moment, isn't he? So, and again, just like winning down here with that Caleb Hall's defensive effort there, really does, uh, should spark your teammates. Yeah, it sets the tone, doesn't it? And uh, there we go. Comes back the other way. Lucas Parsons, quick towel. Puts that one away. And I'll tell you what, go and uh, tap Hawley on the back for that one because that's the reason it came back with interest. Yeah, spot on. To win the ball back down the other end from a, you know, a fast break opportunity where you can potentially concede, to win it back and, and go down the other end and score straight away, it's a, a huge uh, huge swing there for Victoria just as they build the lead back out to, to a six-goal lead now. And uh, Parsons has uh, changed the muscle uh, structure. He muscled that one in the back of the cage rather than muscling the bodies around the field. And there he goes again on cue. Obviously knew we were talking about him. Here he goes again. So they need to uh, come to him and uh, plum. Oh, tink, tink, tink. That has hit keeper bar, keeper bar, and come out and winning. And, he, you know, he's the sort of guy that will uh, go through four and still hold a ball. <laughs> so ball up the top to Twisk. So they got Wood out there. And uh, Cam McLaughlin. Down on the bottom corner, kicks it to winning. Little two-man game starting to be played, but uh, Alistair Glutenay says no. Not to be one-handed, Jesse winning, And uh, time runs out. And I've seen a lot of Jesse winning in South Australia when he's been playing box across. And uh, I'll tell you what, when he's on, those ones go in. So ball down the back. Templeton picks the ball up. Great uh, pick up there from Templeton. Kicks it to Hall. His whole Hall just looks like uh, he's a man possessed at the moment. He knows what this game means uh, and what is at stake. A national championship on the line, and he's, he's certainly come to play. And for Victoria, how? Oh, as we see, Aaron Batsas just uh, just up the crap, uh, the, not the craps, the uh, scraps. I'll get an S in there as well. <laughs> um, great pick up, great finish at pace. Yeah, we've seen that a few times this week as well, haven't we, from Marcus Aaron Batsis. Yeah. Just that goal awareness, and as we've said it before, he's a big man, but to get down, he's so good around his feet um, and so fluid once he picks up that ground ball um, straight into the shooting motion. Absolutely. A great finish there, and Victoria uh, just eke it out again. 
9-2 is the score, and they've got a couple of quick ones. Aldred on the ball. Just so the... quick in that middle there. We've got a great view right in front of us of the centre line, and as he goes all the way again, Aaron Aldred missing there. But as soon as that whistle goes, he's right on it. And uh, just flicks it down to the uh, offensive end, and here we go, winning. <laughs> it, it looked good. <laughs> but uh, he knows better. Hall picks the ball up. And probably, probably on this, you know, obviously this is an outstanding facility as we see Ratchy get in. Great uh, chicken wing there from, uh, and uh, kicks it up. And we see Coyne with the ball, just needs to tuck it, needs to find some space. And uh, you know what, probably uh, just needed to tuck that and find find some space rather than, uh, you know, just trying to get down. Yeah, you see the smarts there, Lucas Parsons as well. He saw, you knew at the double team and Chris Plum coming, so he just held him up, waited for his teammate to arrive and, um, with the takeaway check, it's uh, smart lacrosse. So with the first uh, box lacrosse nationals, as we see the ball just flicked across here, I oh, he can't leave that. The defence just parted the seas when Lucas Parsons picked that up and he's popped that top corner and uh, Lucas with another one and uh, the score really is blowing out now. And Yeah, it's uh, panic stations now, I think, for, for South Australia. You beat damage control now, don't concede again until uh, you know, into half time. Um, really got to batten down the hatches. Yep, I'll tell you what, batten down the hatches at the moment as the wind uh, rushes through here in the Alan Lua uh, box court. I was about to say, you know, how important, this is the first uh, box tournament since 2000 and, uh, you know, since the Westgate as uh, Mullins goes down, uh, Turf Monster. Um, and we're at the Alan Lua field for Victoria. How important is it in the, in the, in the name of Alan Lua for Victoria to get this one. It's the first one since his bust. Yeah, it, it would, would mean so, so much. And um, there would have been a few players involved in the, the senior field team that, that Alan um, was coaching when he, you know, he tragically left us. Yep. Um, so as South Australia, get one on the board here, James Mullins. We'll just come back to that in a second, yep. Tony. But yeah, that's uh, exactly what South Australia would have wanted right there. Um, Mullins getting involved, good to see. Yeah, and, and again, exactly what South Australia ordered. Um, as uh, we get to a 10 3 uh, game here with 3.20 to go. Yeah, but you're absolutely right. And, um, you know, the, the Altona Lacrosse Club, they're so proud to have this facility down here and to have it named after the great, uh, the great Alan Law, who's, you know, a pioneer of, of this sport in this country. Um, it means a lot uh, for, for this Victorian team, that's for sure, and everyone involved in it. So, uh, Aldred, face off again. I tell you what, he's probably going at about 85, 90% uh, for the week. Nice inside from Dan meant to play. And uh, just finding those uh, holes are getting uh, bigger and bigger, aren't they? As we see Turner just uh, muscling Templeton down on the bottom corner. But, oh, great save. That is a great save uh, from Williams right on the door step of uh, Dan meant to play. Yeah, but they're, they're moving through the crease uh, at will at the moment, Victoria. It's... Um yeah, become more and more easy at the moment. Well, as you see, you know what? Early on, those uh, those uh, slides were coming. The the ones and twos were were there, but uh, all of a sudden, those openings are coming up. And Victoria, oh, that's uh, ambitious to try and find Green on the corner there. And it's coming back the other way. So Doyle with the ball. He's got Freeman with him. Twist. Doyle. Freeman. Twist. Doyle. Freeman. Doyle. And. Uh, Gets his uh, reset, so uh, and he'll come off, and he had every right to uh, have a ping at that one in a transition ball. Yeah, certainly, and uh, I think seven goals up as well. Have a bit more of a license for the defender to go down the other end. And uh, as Freeman shoots that one, and another save from Williams, uh, Doyle and Freeman will have a word, and Freeman goes, why didn't you pass it to me? He goes, that's <laughs> why, because he would have missed. Um, but uh, back down the other way, and uh, Wood and a little bounce pass here to Anthony Green. Anthony Green, Cam McLaughlin, and Winnem. And 10 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, Green needed a step in there. Young Green, and uh, that's going over and back. You just saw there, Jesse got under pressure, but that hole opened up for South Australia, and young Anthony Green, and he'll learn from that. While that hole opened up, that's where you step into, and there's a shot to be had from that point. And uh, only a young lacrosse player is uh, Anthony Green. And ball down the back here for Victoria. And McDonald picks it up. Oh, Hall with another great feed. 
Tell Just you what. So classy there, Carla Paul. He, he knew where the man was, so... Lockie McDonald, no, uh, that's a great assist. Yeah, McDonald wasn't there <laughs> yet, so he's just put it into the space, knowing that he's going to move into to collect that one. That's a fantastic pass there from Kyle Ball. Yeah, and what a great finish from uh, Kroll. That was uh, Travis Kroll. Oh, sorry, sorry, Travis Kroll. Yeah, was Kroll on the bottom corner. Yep. So, uh, but Caleb Hall. He's uh, statting him up, isn't he, at the moment? Yeah, certainly he'd uh, be the clubhouse leader for MVP at the moment, I would have thought. And uh, there's a win for uh, Cam Adams for South Australia. Brings it down. They've got to get to him. Uh, they didn't shoot the space down. They'll close the space down there, but a good, uh, good shot. And uh, there we go. A great, another great save. And a little bit of Tyler Leeming just being held onto there by uh, Freeman. And Freeman and Lehman just having a bit of a cuddle on the floor there. And the ball up the top here with Ratch. Ratchy kicks the ball up to Templeton. Just, uh, and, and all of a sudden, Victoria have just upped the pace with which they're moving in this uh, offensive end. Ratch steps in and Ratch just does it easy. I don't know whether you noticed the same thing, but all of a sudden it's like they just shifted a gear and their movement in offense just turned up then. Yeah, the ball is uh, well and truly zipping around down there at the moment. And I think their finishing as well has, has kicked up another gear. Uh, Brett Williams had that really good save on, uh, I think it might have been meant to play earlier. But um, other than that, they've, uh, yeah, they're really starting to find those gaps and, uh, and hit the back of the net really well now, Victoria. And out to a 12-3 lead here. And we're 30 seconds away from the uh, halftime break here in the uh, 1v2 final. And uh, Aldred says, uh, well, we're not finished yet. Because there's still 30 seconds to go. And uh, Hall down the bottom. Aaron Batts is just, uh, he thought he was a chance with Caleb Hall with the ball in his stick just to get in and find it there. So sh the um, shot clock is uh, not working down there. Shot clock needs to be working, but it's turned off. And, well, uh, game clock and shot clock are pretty much exactly identical at the moment. So, so coming back down the other end. And that's uh, probably going to do us. And that's why the shot clock did not move. Because of the uh, shot clock and game clock. <laughs> yeah, but uh, and it's really the, a carbon copy of what happened the other night, isn't it, from Victoria? A, a great effort from South Australia to, to be two all at, at the break. But, um, you know, what's that, a 10-1 second term? That's just yep. massive for, for Victoria. And the funny thing is, Williams has been outstanding in the cage. Yeah, he so certainly you know has. Yeah. So, um, Which I think probably st a credit to the work that Victoria are doing out there. And uh, we might go through some goal scorers. I'll let you run through them, mate. Yeah, so not too many to, to write home about for South Australia. James Mullins, just the one for South Australia in that quarter. Uh, Jesse Wynn and Tyler Lemmy, uh, Leeming, the other goals in that first term. But plenty for Victoria at the moment. Darren Ricketts, he's got the one. Tim Ratchy, Tyler Reynolds, they have one each. Parsons Quintia with a couple. Aaron Batsis and Plum, they've got one and one. But the man of the moment at the moment, Caleb Paul, he's got the four and one. And uh, really, you can give another one to him for his defensive effort from before as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and that's, a, that's the sort of stuff your teammates get around because, uh, you know, the defensive <coughs> and efforts to come up and back and work hard, I mean, that, that's what puts the icing on the cake at the end of the day. Yeah, certainly. And, uh, I mean, Greg Mollison might have been pulling his hair out a little bit uh, at quarter time, but I think uh, they'll be certainly a bit more relaxed now with, the, with Victoria. Um, they'll be pretty happy with where things sit. Um, with two 15-minute periods remaining uh, before they potentially crowned champions. Yeah, absolutely. On the on the on the on the first time ever on the Alan Lua uh, box court. So a uh, couple of people online here. Keep your keep your comments coming. We've got some half time here, so if you want to send us a shout out, try to get uh, back to, and uh, read them out. But uh, we got Ryan Gaspari. He's another great box player from South Australia, an Australian uh, box player. He's watching. Bianca Cop Copping is watching. L Payne's watching. Uh, there's a goalie there from Burnside, female goalie. L, I'd be looking at this box game if I were you and uh, get amongst it. Liz Balfour says, great game, great vision for the Alan Lua facility, our tonal lacrosse club. Uh, and Mark Liddell says, Victoria for the win. Leaf Needle's watching. Lee Haskett's watching. Canadian Lacrosse League, they've been all over the Australian Lacrosse Network to, uh, over the last few days, and we love the fact that you are uh, you are watching uh, Australian Box Lacrosse. Uh, they say, love the shots of the benches, and uh, that is all due down to our uh, man of the moment, Mr. Scott Gill, who, without him, we're nothing, Lockie. 
Yeah, spot on. He's uh, done a fantastic job the last couple of days, has Scott, and uh, yeah, bringing you all the pitches. Been uh, yeah, amazing work. And uh, Rod Bannister, just a uh, little bit of uh, reminiscing here, I think. Great facility, sure beats the gravel box at Williamstown. <laughs> so uh, I'll tell you what, it sure beats anything uh, in Australia at the moment, uh, Rod. And uh, it's great to have you online in the Australian Lacrosse Network as the uh, coaches just go about their... Uh, their uh, conversations. The South Australian coaching bench is a little bit louder than the Victorian one at the moment. And uh, Anthony Philippa, you know what? What? What is? What is he? What does he want to see for the next two quarters? I mean, obviously we're a nine-goal game now, and it's and and it's never over. She's not singing, but you know you're certainly under pressure. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I mean, the the nine goals makes things things a little bit difficult. Um, but you, you've got to uh, tighten up a little bit defensively first and foremost. I mean, to, to concede the 10 goals in, in the one quarter, um, it's uh, yeah, just not good enough, really, to, to be able to try and be competitive. So um, just uh, the Victorians, that, and it, it does come down to their ball movements are quite good at the moment, just um, you know, defending that hole a little bit tighter, um, being a little bit stronger. Um, it's easier said than done, that's for sure. But um, that's, that's probably where it starts. And then... That, with that, you, you'd hope that you get more possession, just a few more chances at the goal, really. Um, I think Jesse Wynn's trying to do a good job to lead them out there, but just uh, not enough opportunity at the moment. Yeah, look, I think he is. He's uh, he's uh, certainly uh, like the Pied Piper, but uh, has he got the mice following him at the moment? Um, and uh, you know what? But again, you're never out of it. It is a final. and uh, But it's amazing how many times in these men's games over the last four days that we've seen... Really tight first quarter, and it's either the second quarter or the third quarter where there's been a blowout. You know, for I'll say no apparent reason because uh, you know the quality of lacrosse that was being played. Uh, you know, but I think the Victorian guys have been playing this sort of consistent lacrosse across the weekend. Yeah, certainly, and um, no, probably you know you wonder whether there were some nerves or what it might have been that um, in that first quarter, but. Um, they've certainly brushed them away in, in that second term and um, they're looking pretty comfortable out there. We can uh, Change just, goal just see yeah, Nick Sheedy's um, jumped in the cage, warming up at the moment. Whether they pull the trigger on him now or maybe in the, the final quarter, wait yeah. and see. But, um, you know, he had a, a good day yesterday. But well, jumped, I reckon his, his dad and, was online yesterday yeah. just saying don't talk about him. <laughs> I mean, those two penalties. Yeah, two penalty shots uh, <laughs> you know, 30 <laughs> seconds into the, the third quarter when he was straight out there, which is interesting. But Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I wonder yeah. whether he told his dad about it when he got home. <laughs> I mean, you'd hope so. That's plenty to brag about. <laughs> uh, what about yourself, Tony? What, what do you think from, from a South Australian perspective that uh, they, they, they can work on? Look... You know what, Leeming's been fantastic for the week. You know, you've had Twisk, who's fantastic. You've had Mullins, who's fantastic. And, you know, these younger players of Green um, coming in, coming into this squad. Cam Cam McLaughlin's been fantastic. They've all got on the scoreboard, but uh, I'm just I'm just struggling to see where the, you know, the work's being done, but where the where the goals are going to come from. And and I just think, you know, it's only a, it's a it's a mindset to just say, you know what, yep, we're ten down, yep, or nine down. But uh, you know what? We've we've got to really lift our intensity. There's there's 30 minutes left of, of what is, you know, the opportunities in life only come along. You never know when the next one is. So get up and about. Have some have some pride in the in the red jersey, and and you know what? Run your ass off for the next 30 minutes, and who knows what can happen. Yeah, definitely agree. And um, I think one thing I'd like to see is that they have been. Once again, probably comprehensively beaten in the middle. Aaron Orge just doing a fantastic job in there again. But, um, you know, if you're losing that contest, bring some of the physicality. Don't let him win it that easily, you know. Make him know that if you're going to win it from there, well, um, you're going to have to, you know, pay a bit of a physical price potentially. So, um, with all within the rules, of course. Yep. But, um, you know, I think that's probably something that Anthony Flipper's is trying to bang home uh, behind us as well. Well, look, he's old school. You know what, he's been around. You know, he's coached with Australia. You know, he's seen at the highest level. And he's and he's demanding exactly what I'm I'm sitting here as a you know, the coach in the back of the head, going, you know what, get some pride, get some get some get some grunt, you know what? And and I'll tell you what, Victoria bought the physicality early. You saw Lucas Parsons absolutely just go nail, nail. You know what? There was bodies willingly flying, but it was being done on the blue side. South Australia need to come out and again not be on the uh, rules of the game. 
but they need to they need to have some pride in that jersey and they need to know that you know what when you look up there's a red there's a red jersey coming and it may as well be a bull because I'm going to run through your number and and that sparks the next bloke to go you know what if he can do it I can do it and then all of a sudden there's a snowball effect and you just never ever know what is going on you don't and uh, that's where they need to be right now and I, and I think we're hearing that behind us with the coaching staff of South Australia, but that's the expectations. If that, is that what you're hearing here? Yeah, I think so. It's uh, some animated voice in there, which is good to say. I mean, um, yeah, they're certainly not going to come out there and roll over. They're, uh, they're going to come out there swinging and um, and uh, and you might give it just you might just catch Victoria. You know, they may be going. You know what, boys? We're nine up. We had a great quarter. We're, we're really comfortable here. And well, yeah, that's the thing. That they, the, on the back foot, yeah, they, they might be already. Uh, off to the bar in their yeah. minds so yeah. um you know try and capitalize on that early and if if you get that early jump when that that could be worth a couple of goals if you're banging you know two three four goals early um you just want to make it a manageable task for the final quarter you don't need to necessarily you know get back in uh, you know within a, a couple right now but just get in the contest and uh, give yourself a chance uh, come that final 15. but you do need to show pride you know what, and and I think that's what that's what the animation is behind us, is that wants to see pride. You know, I mean, there's been a lot of people who have uh, who have bled for that uh, that that jersey, as there has been in the in the in the in the big V side. You know, but it's time to go. Well, you know what, there's a lot of people who have worn this, who have put a lot of sacrifice into into this game, and uh, you know, it, it's got to mean something. And you know what, at the moment, to me, and that's probably hitting the nail on the head. That second quarter. It almost didn't mean anything for South Australia. You know what? They got bullied a bit. They got they got some big bodies. They got some they got some you know some physicality put to them, and the, and it just didn't mean enough for them to respond. So I'm expecting I'm expecting South Australia to respond here, and I'm expecting them to come out, and I'm expecting to see some some real physicality early. And you, again, you know what? Throw a ball in the air. It's the only way you're going to catch it, and give it an opportunity. So uh, the boys uh, back in the face, and I like this. I like Adams up against Aldrich, mainly because they both start with A in their last name, <laughs> uh, and it's really easy to commentate. Um, but yeah, no, I do. Cam's been so the best face I've played for South Australia. Yeah, certainly. Bit of a bit of size match up as well. A little bit uh, bigger. Aldrich's um, got that tall, lean body, so can match up a little bit better on uh, on him there. Yep. Just uh, but it, just but that speed at the moment that he's got to try and find a way. But all of a sudden, it creates a contest, which is what's being asked. And, uh, and and the crowd here would love to see that because you saw with the last game, they get up and about it, but Aldrich gets the ball and uh, kicks over to Hall. Hall looks in, Plum oh, just puts that one past. And again, Victoria have uh, not been on their heels in the halftime break. And uh, Plum, he is a highlight reel when he gets the opportunity. Oh, what a great... I tell you what, if he hasn't stamped his uh, MVP yet, just put it down to that. How good was that quick stick feed? Just so clever, wasn't it? It was nearly a, 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 just a tennis volley over to the crease to Travis Kroll. What a, what a pass there from Kayla Paul and the, the link up from Plum to Hall to, to Kroll. Yeah, that's fantastic. And play you know there what I love? I mean, to be honest, Hawley, fantastic player. You don't see animation from him very often. But I'll tell you what he did. <laughs> he loved that. Yeah, certainly did. A little fist bump. He was pretty happy. Hey, I'd, I'd be happy with my work like that too. And, uh, and again, Victoria. McDonald. Oof. So, you know, on the line here, Cam, Cam McLaughlin, and good from winning, gets up. You know what? Helps his teammate out. And uh, Cam McLaughlin will uh, kick the ball over to Winnan, kicks it over here to Twisk. And this is where the work needs to start because that'll bring Winnan into the play on the right hand side and uh, shot to be had. Great pick up. And coming back the other way is the butter knife. And uh, he's just decided to uh, just not be there because that's not where he does his best work. <laughs> hey, uh, this is probably where is he pulled the trigger now, Tyler Reynolds. Oh. No, he looks for the pass. And a great cut there from Aaron Batsis. Looks up the top. Just uh, goes about his well. Oh, nice trail check there from Coin, and fell over, but uh, into the wall. He's just trying to extricate it, but good defense. All of a sudden, putting some pressure on, making that, running that clock out, and giving giving themselves another opportunity, and uh, that's what they want to see. Yeah, certainly right. And uh, you know, this is where you can do it down the other end. Now you've got to try and uh, replicate it down the front half as well. But again, you know, it's 
they're within they're within 10 seconds and uh, you know we're shooting you know while Jesse win and uh, you know what they do go in sometimes that's that's a that's a that's a 90 10 or 10 90 uh, spread on getting that one in you know yeah. you want to at least get your 50 50s and it looks like it's still Black Watson in the cage yet so I don't think they've pulled the trigger on Nick Sheedy at the moment oh yeah. crawl not too many times you'd see Travis Kroll miss a shot from there. No, I was going to say. And, and is he going to make up for it? And yes, he is. Travis Cole says, I don't miss a shot from there either. I'm going to go and get my own work, find my way back around the cage, and uh, defence didn't come to him. And yeah, Victoria were too early uh, in the uh, third quarter. And I'll tell you what, that wind's picking up, and I can just about hear some voices uh, starting to tune up. Yeah, there is someone singing in the distance. But um, yeah, so that they they certainly weren't uh, <laughs> resting on any laurels no. at halftime, were they? They they knew that uh, South Australia would come at them, and they've been up to the task so far. And how good's that from Aaron Orchard once again? Just such quick hands. But can I say too, Hall kicks uh, sorry kicks it to Hall there from Plum. Um, you know the 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 effort asked by the coaching staff of the Reds, you know, for the for the pump up that was had is not being uh, replicated at the moment. Yeah, no, not, not quite early. at the moment, yeah. So, uh, Twisk with the ball. Has Wood, has Adams. And Leeming comes on. So, winning down the back corner. Adams comes in to set the pick. But you can see the off-ball work. Looks inside, just under pressure. Josh Wood goes about his work. Glute nail all over him. Winner needs a shot. And one-handed. We've got a penalty coming here. On, uh, okay. I think it was Al Glutenay has been caught up for a slash, I would imagine. Slash, yep, okay. And we'll uh, just hear here. Peace. It's all right, it's all right. Ronda, yeah, blue, two, six, slash, minor foul. There you go. Hey, great Mr. access Mr. there. Mr. Williams, <laughs> hey. Great access out there with uh, Steve Green on the microphone. And it's, uh, and it's, you know what, adds another dimension, and we really do appreciate the, uh, the officiating crew for, uh, and especially Steve, for being mic'd up, because, again, you know, rather than us guessing, but you don't guess, you're all over that. Um, but to hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak, yeah, uh, certainly adds, a, adds another element and another thing Mr. Gill is very good at. So ball from Twisk, and, uh, and, and better worked, better work from South Australia, but this is where they need to stop. You know, Leeming uh, just standing in front of the goalie and uh, kicks the ball down to, uh, and oh, great pick up almost from uh, Tyler. But he's got Plummy on the backside if he can get it. Oh, steps in and there we go, the butter knife. That's his second and uh, great work down here from the keeper just to find that open man. Yeah, great look there from Blake Watson. The, to be fair, the press was pretty good there from South Australia. They they really forced that long pass and he likes that the butter knife. But uh, yeah, good outlet to, to just to put it to his advantage. Um, just out of reach of Brett Williams there and uh, yeah, good enough to, to put that one away was Tyler Reynolds. So Tyler Reynolds with that one, AKA the butter knife. <laughs> and you can see why he just slides in. And, uh, but, but a great, great effort. He, he won the ball on the fence under pressure and then just beat his man. And good work there from McLaughlin. That's going to be loose ball push. Hey, you know what? Do whatever it takes to, uh, to get the ball in your stick. Spot on. So winning. We'll have that as Wood comes off and does coin. Twisk Mullins. Come on. We've got a 15-3 scoreline here. Uh, about 9.40 to go in the uh, third term at the Alan Lua box field. Uh, and and potentially, I'm not sure whether the running clock's going at the moment, uh, Lockie. Uh, I haven't seen a, a call uh, yet. Yeah, it's still stopping at, at this stage. Yep. But, uh, and I, once again, on on the power play there for South Australia, oh, giving it away look at too that. easily. That BTB yeah. to the pass to the there outside. Here we go. Is it sat for oh, old here it is. Glutenay picks it up on the left. Oh, I'll tell you what, his odds went up on the higher end to get one today. And that was probably his best opportunity he's going to get. He'll tell us it's, uh, you know, he'll probably tell us it's not in his natural hand, which we <laughs> know is a lie. Um, or, you know, the wind got him or something. But uh, Al Glutenow with an opportunity there. 
Yeah, probably just missed that, that first ground ball, which cost him a little bit, I think. He was probably, uh, oh, there we go. And a shot there from uh, James Mullins. And Glutenace says, you know what, I'll just come to the bench. And uh, Ricketts at pace coming down uh, the centre. He's got Plum the other side. No one comes to Plum. Plum pops it in. And that's just not good enough defence. You've got a guy coming down who has been scoring prolifically all week. And uh, the defence just gets held up and almost created a hole for him. And uh, you cannot let Chris Plum shoot from uh, that space. Yeah, just meandered in, didn't he? And, uh, yeah, it's so much space there for Chris Plum. He's, he's had some sort of week here. Um, at the Fox National Championships. Uh, I, I wouldn't know the exact numbers, but he, he'd have close to 20-ish goals, I would yeah, have thought. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's it's yeah, been a great, a great effort from uh, from a guy that's played uh, a lot of lacrosse uh, for, for many, many years. So ball back in the centre, McDonald, and good again from Adam. So look, at least competing in the centre and uh, just need to be... Uh, in the ball, oh, you know what? I've been really impressed with young Anthony Green this week too. As a, you know, he's first time box player, young. You know, he's probably only about that 18, 17, 18 years old. Leaming with a good shot. Great work there though from Freeman on the defense, just pushing him down the line. Yeah, we've seen a keeper change out there. So it's Nick Sheedy that's uh, jumped in the net for Victoria now. Pops and uh, great uh, feed there, <laughs> and. Uh, Dan meant to play with that goal, um, but Lucas Parsons just holding, 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 and uh, may have been a little late one there from um, one Michael Green, which uh, Dan may not have enjoyed, but did the discipline thing and uh, said, you know what, I just got a goal. You wear 17 3 up now, and uh, here we go, and a running clock at the moment. Yeah, it's um, yeah, out of control at the moment. Victoria just running rampant. Um, Everyone's on the same page, which is it's just been great to see, hasn't it? And a, a good win in the middle there. Yeah, for, that's for the third face-off win in a row with a push. That's So, a big push with ball. Have we got an arm up? No. Yeah, penalty here. Steve's got it. So, uh, right on it is uh, Steve Green. And, uh, oh, there's another push in the middle. But uh, just got to stand up. McLaughlin must be thinking... <laughs> You know what? I've just been dumped over on the, <laughs> on the bench, on the wall. I've just been dumped in the middle. I'm glad he's got a low centre of gravity so he hasn't got far to fall <laughs> like myself, Cam. Blue, but, uh, two, you know. three. Check him from the rear, two. Check him from the rear, two. There you go. So, yeah, but Cam must be going, you know what? Enough. This uh, this sand does burn occasionally. I don't does, need to be down yeah. here anymore. You can see most of the players have got the sort of three-quarter leggings on out there, importantly. The players that haven't, uh, they, they've been walking around with sort of bandages over their there. knees at the moment. And, and you look week. out there, there's a few rashes around the yeah, knees, yeah, isn't there? certainly are. And you saw with the women, uh, <laughs> yeah, there was a few falls with them and there's, uh, yeah, a little bit a uh, little bit tender here and there. Loose ball push again. And is that Cam again? Yep. So Cam McLaughlin. Maybe, maybe he said something to one of them out there because every time he gets near the ball, someone wants to push him over. Exactly right. Uh, Gabe and there's Doyle, another one. He's gone the box. I'm not sure if this is going to be for a push or... Yeah, 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 it looks, yeah. It looks yeah. like it was. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. so a three zone here for uh, as the wind picks up here at the Altona Lacrosse Club. Well, they played a, a couple of minutes of this yesterday, Victoria, so not the first time they've had to deal with it. Oh, good save, and it gets nailed uh, by Nyberg. They must just wait until Nick Sheedy gets out there to, to go the two men yeah, down. two men down. Put him under plenty and, of oh, pressure. This is, and the butter knife is out the back. He's got two already. One hand, a little bit. Of, oh, bang! Hits the fence, and then Mullins hits him. And the ball comes back the other way at pace. But a uh, little bit of razzle-dazzle trying to be shown there. Just didn't quite come off. Would have looked good on the camera if it did. Yeah, I think uh, that one was all for the camera, that one. There. <laughs> Not much more to it. Did he, did he know I was uh, probably going to get up and about with that? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Flubby says, wait for me, as Wenon just fires the ball, and uh, it, Wenon just flops. If he's uh, if he's a soccer player, he's probably getting a yellow card for that flop. <laughs> and uh, ball, again, that's the second time we've seen the crowd catch. Yeah, that's it. Coming uh, out of the, uh, coming out of the um, goalie stick. One in the first game and one in this one. That's just chilled down a bit here, like, you know. Yeah, as I'm, I'm reaching for the uh, the hood on the hoodie, I reckon. That's what I'm doing too, mate. Just uh, as we, oh, great shot, and Nathan Twisk gets that one away. 
and uh, gets one on the board for uh, South Australia. And uh, he's uh, not given it up yet, Nathan Twisk. But uh, just one against the grain, so to speak. Yeah, certainly. And, uh, you know, he's, he's had a good week, Nathan Twisk. Um, a couple of really good goals. He was he was really important in their win over Western Australia the other night as well. So, yep. um, you know. Uh, yeah, and had, that's had a good week for SA. Twisky gets his first one of the uh, of the game, and we've got three uh, eighteen left on the clock. It is a running clock at the moment, and for all those people who uh, or just run straight into Hall, uh, Winnan comes back down the other way. Winnan fires, and Winnan does, and Winnan just nonchalantly almost just goes, well, you know what, I'm going to put this one in, and uh, wow, well, there you go. South Australia with a couple in uh, in about 30 seconds. Yeah, the first back-to-back -back goals for them today. Um, Green with yeah, a great ground ball on the outer side, though, and yeah, uh, could have been nailed by uh, Caleb Hall. But Caleb probably just saying, you know what, I'll let that one go. So, yeah, the clock is uh, is running now as well. So, um, whether that's their officials uh, coming to arrangement with the coaches, not too sure, but... Yep. Um, yeah, probably fair enough at this stage, I think. And Ricketts, Jizzy moves at pace when he gets the opportunity to get in that offensive end. And uh, with a the shot there, Anthony Coyne picks the ball up. Jesse Winnan just uh, clears some space for him. Cam McLaughlin uh, is about to be uh, overrun. I'm glad Cam didn't actually pick that ball up. Oh, Tink off the post and back. Because if Cam had picked that ball up, <laughs> Lucas Parsons was coming the other way. And I tell you what. Yeah, look out. That would have been a different way to get home. So Cam <laughs> just uh, throwing the ball over here to Twisky. Twisky. He always ends up with a couple in a game, Twisk. And there's his second on cue. Uh, always seems to end up with at least two in uh, in the game. And again, hey, shoot to fire. And that goalie change there, he must be thinking, uh, really, do I have to be out here? <laughs> yeah, probably would have wanted that one again, uh, Nick Shady, I think. Uh but, uh, yeah, it is, uh, you know, conditions have just, yeah, cooled down a little bit, that wind picking up. But, um, yeah, Nathan Twisk firing once again. A couple of goals to his name now. Yep, and Aldra doing what he's done all week. Gets the ball out of uh, face and uh, gets two opportunities, two shots. Plum picks the ball up. Great ground ball. And uh, Plummy, this is where he likes that one over the dive over the cage. Kicks the ball up to Aaron Batsis, who... Uh, has been a prolific goal scorer as well for the week. And kicks it to my MVP at the moment, Caleb Hall. Just uh, kicks the ball down. Aaron Batsis over to Plum. Plum just uh, tries to flick. Oh, great little flick back. And uh, ball needs to be picked up here. Coin Templeton, he's going to run over. And ball goes. There we go, Green. He can go. Just left him. Green with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Bang! Young Anthony Green gets one in the final. And that'll be something he'll take home. And uh, South Australia with uh, four quick goals. Yeah, so back within 10 now, you, you feel like it probably is a, a bit beyond them. But um, that's just why that start to this quarter is so disappointing, I think, that had, you know, this was always capable of happening, but yep. you just couldn't let that deficit get out too far. So yep. you know, if, if this had happened, you know, you're down seven, you win three or four, but no, you let see Victoria really take the, the game away. And the deficit that's about to happen is the uh, siren's about to sound two, one, and uh, whistle will sound three-quarter time here at Alan Lua Box Court. And we see a 17-7 game. And... As I say, you know, apart from that first couple of minutes, that little bit of a response from uh, from South Australia, but is that Victoria taking a, a little bit of foot off the gas? Yeah, potentially, but uh, I feel like they have lifted, lifted South Australia. Um, you know, they've certainly, um, you know, taking pride in, in their finish and, uh, you know, they, they aren't wanting to, they're not going to want to let uh, the Victorians just run all over them uh, in this final term. And just uh, quickly, it looks like Riley McGee is... Uh, warming up out there, so you'd expect him to finish the game out for uh, for South Australia. Great job from Brett Williams in the cage. He's uh, he's been huge all week, and uh, good to see Connor McGee getting a, an opportunity uh, in the cage. Me and Bobby McGee, for all and, those uh, oldies who know the song out there. Just uh, on his warm up out there, he just copped on straight to the face guard. Nice, <laughs> little, nice little warm up for him. Yeah, and uh, and and Reese uh, out there is uh, is our import this year for Woodville, warming him up. So, uh, Reese just uh, telling him, uh, trying to light him up. 
Um, so we might uh, just have a quick go through some goal scorers and then we might go through some socials. Uh, so goal scorers at the moment, I'll leave that with you, Mr. Williams. Yeah, so we've got uh, Jesse Winnie, he's got a couple. James uh, Mullins with the one, Tyler Lemming with one, Nathan Twiski, he's got two, uh, I believe, uh, Anthony Green with one to his name as well. For Victoria, well, yeah, plenty to go through. Dan Ricketts with the one, Caleb Hall, you'd uh, favour him to be leading the MVP race at this stage, four Absolutely. and two. Tim Ratchie with the one, Tyler Reynolds, he uh, scored two very nice goals. Uh, Lucas Parsons, well, he's got the two and one. Aaron Batsis, he's got one and one. And meant to play just the one as well. Big list there, mate. <laughs> it is a big list. It is, and I'll tell you what, a uh, couple, of, couple on there, the Canadian Lacrosse Collegia is still on. Is that Connor McGee as backup goalie for SA? Yes, it is. Me and Bobby McGee, as he's affectionately known. Uh, Mark Wilson. Uh, says uh, go reds liz balfour you know she's still got love in her eyes uh, he goes uh, load the knees up with vaseline gel to help prevent the the uh, rug burn so uh, there's a good tip for everyone out there if you're listening and watching it back uh harrison swain says uh, nice twist keys automatically translated uh, um canadian <laughs> lacrosse league says number 22 on sa keep shooting so they like what they're seeing from nathan twisk uh, Neil Millard says, nice day for it. Shaylee Stringer says, way to go, Vix. And uh, Shaylee, she's uh, probably still recovering from yesterday. I was Maybe about to say, pro stand. probably a couple of uh, sore heads from the, the Victorian women after their big win yesterday. And uh, Canadian Lacrosse League, just uh, on that, uh, McGee was an absolute stud at the 2023 World Juniors in Winnipeg. He said, uh, he said great seeing him getting some action. So really good to see Connor in the cage for this uh, last quarter. And... Uh, what do you reckon? Clean sheet for McGee? I mean, yeah, the, <laughs> that'd be a, a big finish for him, that's that's for sure. Um, you know, probably at this stage, and we talked about it yesterday, you know, the 10 goals um, you, you'd feel is a bridge too far, but um, it's about those little wins. So if South Australia can keep that momentum going, there's no reason why they can't cut this margin down by, you know, potentially half, even a little bit more if they, uh, if they have a, a good quarter. And uh, about to start the fourth quarter, and just as we do, Mitchell Johnson says, mental, still picking on kids. <laughs> so <laughs> back to uh, back to the action here. And uh, sorry, Peter Greenhouse says, holy dooly, I went out for a bit and came back to this. Well done, Victoria. So uh, you, uh, you leave the Australian Lacrosse Network, Pete, see what happens. Uh, but uh, hope you're well there, buddy. Uh, we'll catch up soon. And uh, back to the centre we go. And Aldred, oh, there's a push. And uh, good work there from Adams, that's smart. Old head there, eh? Yeah, they've, they've done a lot better in the middle uh, South Australia. They've, they've still conceded uh, probably too many fast breaks, but they've, they've sort of evened out the contest a little bit, which has um, you know, been good to see. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's a pass to Mullins. And there's a loose ball push, so that's going to be a reset there. So South Australia, what are they looking for? You know what? If, a, if I was a coach now, and I know, I know there's some heat gone out of the game, but I want to be within five goals of Victoria when the whistle sounds. So yeah. I want to win this quarter and I, I want to be within five goals. Yeah, I have to say I agree and uh, Jesse winning trying to get a start on it but Nick Shetty up to the challenge. And I tell you what, the way Nathan Twist shooting at the moment as the Canadian uh, Lacrosse League said, he was open in the centre there and winning just burned him a little. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, he showed he had the hot hand at the end of that third quarter so yeah, you'd be looking to, to get him on the ball uh, a little bit. Just, uh, that's us. Walking right oh, up to there's McGee. Connor McGee, just uh, straight into the game. Welcome to the game. Oh, turn your turn your back, uh, Harrison Turner. And uh, ball uh, back out here with Tyler. He's got a couple for the day. I just slipped over. Anthony Green allows. Uh, oh, and uh, missing missing the uh, goal there was Kroll. Oh, Kroll. I don't think he expected that one. <laughs> and winning. And, and uh, winning gets through. He's got Green up ahead. Bounce pass. Green, has he got two in the final? Nope, not that time. Uh, Leeming comes on. Body to be had. And uh, coming back the other way with Lucas Parsons. Kicks it to Plum. Plum. Kicks the ball up there. Kicks it out there to Freeman. Freeman. Oh, he looked like he wanted to step in and have a shot there, uh, Pumba. And, uh, and now we will have a shot, but great save again from McGee. And a fantastic effort, two shots, two saves. Yeah, made a great start to this quarter uh, out there, the young fella. So, oh, Jesse winning, he's just uh, launched that down to Leeming. And oh, 
Great pick up, great pick up there from Twisk. Adams is up the top, this, but players uh, recognise that very quickly and uh, the three loose players there just turned and went, whoops, there we go, <laughs> we'll shut that down. And McLaughlin with the ball. All they want to do is push him over. They do, and McLaughlin with the ball. Has to move it now with the shot clock counting yeah. down. The yeah, he's, we'll he's beat him. Shot, oh no, just uh, puts it over. And uh, almost a little bit of frustration there from Leeming coming off. The hands went up, went, you know, let's move the ball a bit. And I think, they, you know, to score, they have to move the ball against yeah. the Victorian defence. Just holding it too long on that occasion. And uh, Lucas Parsons could tell. Just uh, doing his magic up the top. And Dan meant to play. Pick it up, Steve Coyne. Oh, that's an ice pick. Love that. Coyne steps out of it, but he looks up and he goes, I know you, and he needs to get rid of this ball here. He needs, uh, needs some help. And uh, when you look up and you see uh, Lucas Parsons, you uh, halt. Yeah, spot on. Uh, did well to find the support on that one to move it yeah. off. Good work there from Young Green. Just uh, gives it a twisk. Twisk. Or oh, looked inside. Green just misses the ball. Picked up there. Josh Wood just gets monstered by some blue shirts. And time will run out. Shot clock violation. Victoria coming back the other way. As Lucas puts the ball up here to Ty. And Tyler picks it up. No, Twisky picks it up. Just needs to get it over. And uh, had no one ahead of him to get rid of the ball. And uh, coming back the other way. So a little bit scrappy, that uh, piece of play. Yeah, both sides probably just an eye on the finish line at the moment, I think, uh, by, by the looks of it. Um, no goals in the first five minutes of this quarter at the moment. And the uh, ball comes out to Aaron Batsis. He'll, he'll, uh, he won't mind having another goal. And we've got a moving pick there. So moving pick called on Caleb Hall. It's probably the uh, only thing that he's actually uh, done on the uh, other side of the spectrum today. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been nearly perfect otherwise, has Caleb Hall. As the uh, as coin comes off and twist comes off and uh, McLaughlin comes off, oh Jesse Winnan just about lost his helmet there. He's being well guarded by Ricketts down there, <laughs> and uh, Leeming kicks it. Adams Adams looks up. McLaughlin comes on. Four seconds need a shot, and uh, didn't happen. Oh, good pick up there from Ricketts. Just yeah, there's, there's not really been oh, a weak link in axe. the yeah in the Victorian defence this week. But Ricketts just turns that one over, but. Every single one of their squad has been so solid in that one-on-one -on -one defense, and um, they, can, you, they can look to anyone on that team and back them in, really. I'll tell you why Ricketts turned that over, because if uh, Woodchop could chop wood, uh, <laughs> there was an axe handed out there, and uh, maybe maybe one one just let go. But uh, twist with the ball. Under pressure, looks up, fires across the face of goal. Mullins with the ball. And uh, time will run out and uh, picked up here by uh, Dan Hall. Kicks it up here to Templeton and who kicks it down the bottom corner there to Plum. Oh, Huge McGee. there. That's four big saves and two in about two seconds there for McGee. And ball out, need to be picked up. Hall, all over it. Hunting it down as the wind does really pick up here. Mental play. Good Huge save there from Penn. Connor McGee. So Connor McGee, or me and Bobby in the cage. Just need some help out there for his teammates to try and pick it up after he's making some of these good saves, I think. Yep. Mental with the ball. Looks inside. Misses Kroll. Goes the other side. Not looking. Hall. No. McLaughlin steps up and gets uh, three or four big, uh, big hits. Ball back out here to uh, Plum. Plum up to Aaron Batsis. Aaron Batsis fires. Another big save there from uh, Conor McGee. And uh, I think he's enjoying his uh, time out there right now. So Coyne with the ball. Kicks it over here to uh, Leeming. And Jesse Winner, look at him. He's got two players just uh, <laughs> just holding him at the moment. Yeah, he hasn't been given an inch out there, uh, has Jesse Winnan. So, ball up the top. A little bit of a dance with Glutenay. Needs a shot. Oh, that's not far off uh, from uh, Twisky. And Twisky just running back into defence as Green comes on as well, Michael Green. 
And the ball rolls down the back. And uh, Victoria will have an opportunity here with 7.37 to go in the fourth quarter. Still 17-7. And uh, no goal scorers uh, yet. Lucky. Yeah, it's... Uh, you know, South Australia, their, their intensity's been there. I think <laughs> Conor McGee's probably had, had a large part to do with that as well. And he comes up big time there again. So a uh, big hit there from Aaron Battis. Got a penalty here. And uh, someone's going to sit for a couple of minutes. Yeah, but Conor McGee, he's, uh, he's really stepped up and uh, done a great job so far in uh, in this quarter. And that's called on Cam McLaughlin. I thought he was the one on the ground. I'm not sure with that one. Anyway. A hold, maybe. I didn't, I didn't see the call. Yeah, missed Jason. that one as well, but... Uh, He's sitting for two minutes. Regardless, it's Victoria that's man up now. I was going to say, I thought he was the one, because everyone wants to knock Cam over today. <laughs> and great save from McGee. Jeez, he's been good since Tell you what, the way on. he's going, uh, that shutout you mentioned before, Tony, he's on track at the moment. Absolutely. Caleb Hall will have something to say about that. And uh, the BTB again. And James Mullins picks the ball up and uh, just fires the ball in here to Adams. But Hall, offense, defense, top. And a timeout is called and Hall's just going, Cam, I can get a quick whack in here <laughs> before the uh, clock is stopped. So a timeout here for South Australia. And uh, we've got 6.04 left on the game clock. It is currently a 17-7 game. No scores this quarter. And South Australia just taking uh, a chance to have a breath. Yeah, it's uh, probably not ideal to, to call it when you're a man down. But, um, yeah, the play was so up and back that they just needed a, a minute to get their breath back. But uh, plenty of pats on the back for Conor Bagazi. Makes his way over to the box. Uh, deservedly so from the effort that he's put out there so far. It is. And uh, a couple of uh, people online here. Daniel White says, go SA. Nice centre work, Cam. So he's all over uh, Cam Adams. Uh, and Pete Greenhouse says, this week just shows how important it is to have a dedicated box court, something we are working on in South Australia. Yeah, exactly right. This is uh, about oh, two to three years old now, this court, I would imagine. Um, we've played two Vic seasons on it. And uh, Liz Balfour just uh, peeped. Uh, it says it was the dedicated team of Victorian box Z-Lots that made this uh, facility possi possible. Zealots. Zealots. Oh, you know what? Me and my, <laughs> me and my English language. Uh, kudos to them. So, uh, yeah, well, exactly right. Yeah, man, many people from the Alt Tunnel Across Club and, uh, you know, aptly named after probably the, the biggest uh, advocate in uh, Alan Lua. So. Yep, yep. RIP, Mr. Lua. Um, yeah, but fantastic, fantastic facility, and uh, we've been, we've been, we've been absolutely had the pleasure of uh, bringing it live and free across to you on the Australian Lacrosse Network all weekend, and uh, I think the uh, next one to come up will be the Under 18 Championships over in Perth from the Australian Lacrosse Network. Oh, fires from uh, women yeah, sh should be fantastic. Uh, the Under 18. Um Vic team was out the back here at Altona the training this morning. Yes. So you might have seen Tony. I did indeed. And uh, I saw the uh, the men yesterday. I think the women were out there today. Um, and uh, they will want some uh, revenge for last year. Yes, the certainly. SA boys getting for the first time, I think, since 99 and 18, uh, under 18 championship. But they have to go to Perth. And you know, and you know Perth are going to be very strong. Another big save there from McGee. As a reset happens, and uh, oh, but not that time with that ball movement. Caleb Hall just finds Kroll on the bottom corner, and Kroll must think he he, he is uh, at a Christmas party sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it took something uh, pretty special to to get past Conor McGee there, and um, you know a pass like that from Caleb Hall, that's uh, that's going to do the job. It is indeed, and uh, I tell you what, with the speed of that pass though from Caleb Hall. Uh, that must be about his third or fourth assist so far. So, uh, again, he's just racking him up, Mr. Hall. Yeah, he's had a, a, a day out, and to play like this in a, a final, he'd be pretty proud of his, uh, his effort, I would have thought. And uh, so will this man. He's been fantastic all week. And uh, doesn't uh, quite uh, pick the ball up there as Cam Adams uh, gets held. Uh, 
Uh, they're holding the stick, but uh, oh, just didn't see. But look at that, and that's that's the way it falls for you, isn't it? You're in your you're in your in you're in your defensive end, and you got two on one, and the uh, Tyler Leeming turns around and he goes, "Oh, the ball's coming." <laughs> And, uh, oh, hello. A little bit of uh, party trick time there from uh, Lucas Parsons. And Jesse Winnan, uh, <laughs> he steps out. And Greeny, oh, just Here's misses a, a Doyle. Oh, a great pick up there from Anthony Green. Yeah, nice follow up there. Just came off the foot of Doyle. Oh, and there's a crunch. Oh, just takes a hit, takes another one. And that's going to be a uh, penalty here as South Australia pick up the ball. And, and uh, uh Lucas Parsons, he's, uh, he's just gone, don't push me in the back and then land on me. And uh, Mullins uh, just giving the Victorian bench a bit of uh, grief. I'm not sure that with three and a half minutes to go, that uh, <laughs> there's too much to be gained by that just quietly. Yeah, exactly right. Thrown to ball over potentially a little bit there, but yeah, cooler heads prevailed. Keith Nyberg just telling the lad, just calm down. We've uh, we've got this one in the bag, fellas. No need to, to spend a couple of minutes in the box to finish the game. And uh, a 1-0 quarter. So, I mean, look, it's been a... Been a, quite a tidy quarter as far as the defensive side of things for South Australia. Uh, they wouldn't mind getting another one on, but they're going to play a man down for uh, two minutes here uh, with uh, three minutes to go. Yeah. So, power play. Yeah, well done there from Coyne just to get the little knockdown. Ball with Aaron Batsis, looks inside and great save again from McGee. That pops up and over. Really good uh, keeping here from Young McGee. Once again, Victoria just getting through that crease far too easily at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what, that had some fire on it. That was nearly getting through the <laughs> backboard. I, I, I don't think I would have wanted to be standing down there. I know this. Uh, I know this netting is pretty tight. But I'll tell you what, when this man is uh, two big saves again from uh, Connor McGee, and he's looking out the back. Here we go, Plum, with a little bit of what have I got? And uh, there we go, Kroll again. On the, gr on the good uh, feeding there, this time of Chris Plum, he gets his third, I reckon, Crowley. Yeah, just such a reliable finisher, isn't he, Travis Kroll? Once you, you give the ball to him, you know that the ball's going to end up in the back of their net more often than not. And uh, he's done it throughout the week, and once again, doing the job out there Sorry, for Victoria. I might have done him uh, dirty there, Kroll. That's his fifth. Fifth, wowee. I mean, so that, it, that, that, that has, me too. It has snuck up on us, yeah, but uh, yeah. You know what he does Quite do? Performance. What he does do, and as a, you know, with my coach's hat on, he puts himself in the right position. Yeah, do definitely. All the time. So and, uh, uh, probably, probably, uh, you know, the the granddad of the uh, of the Victorian yeah. team, but using that experience to his to his advantage. So one minute twenty six left, and Jesse winning out by himself. This is a, this is one he normally does not uh, miss, and. Uh, on cue, Jesse Winning gets a late one there for South Australia. So it's a 2-1 quarter here, uh, South Australia, Victoria. But you cannot let that man out the back by himself. No, nah, definitely not. And uh, for South Australia, well, they probably would have been hoping to see a little bit more of that today, but um, just didn't quite pan out um, for them. But, yeah, nice finish from Jesse Winning. That's his third out of seven. So, uh, you know, he's going at about 41% uh, in the scoring, if my mathematics is right. Third out of eight. Okay, Scotty just <laughs> ruined my percentages. Uh, ball out the other side. Oh, that one gets through. Kicked up. Twisk playing in the defensive end. Kicks it to Leeming. Have, can they tie this up for the last quarter? They've got uh, 37 seconds to make it done. Adam steps down, winning. Just slips down. He's absolutely. He's just had his helmet taken off, and he's about to retaliate here because he just feels like he had. He got the uh, can opener there and got taken off. And there's some, what's going on here? And Jesse Winnan has just given an absolute gobful to Steve <laughs> Green. And, so, and he's probably in his, in his right. Yeah, and it's not going to matter. So the, the clock won't stop. It keeps counting down. Victoria, they're going to run our 19-8 winners. Number two, yeah. delay of game, two minutes. Delay of game, two minutes. And it won't matter because Jesse won't even have to sit in the uh, box as the clock runs out. So a really pointless sort of penalty there. But, uh, I mean, delay a game, it worked because it ran the clock out. Um, so he probably got what he wanted. 19-8 <laughs> yeah. is the score here. Congratulations to the uh, Victorian men's box lacrosse team. They've been uh, superior all weekend, and they've just shown it here in this final. 
but credit to South Australia. They really stood up and, uh, you know, their game they'll take away is that WA one where they really did run away from it. Yeah, certainly. Could have proved uh, ugly at, at half time. really. This game could have blown wide apart, but um, fought their way back into it. But you're right. Credit to, to the big V. Um, clean sweep for Victoria. Both men's and women's going through the week undefeated. Um, Greg Mollison, two from two for, for him. Um, head coach of both sides. Uh, yeah, certainly plenty to be proud of. And as you mentioned before, out here on the Alan Law box court uh, probably just means that extra little bit to them as well. Absolutely. So congratulations to the Victorian men's box team. Fantastic effort. And uh, they have uh, run out uh, big winners. We might have a look at the goal scorers uh, here just as we uh, start to tidy it up. They'll have some presentations. But... Uh, you want to go through the goal scorers? Yeah, so Jesse Winnan, he, uh, he had a, a good day out in the end. Once again, as he has all week, three goals. Um, he finished with uh, James Mullins, Anthony Green, Tyler Leeming with singles to their name, and Nathan Twisk, as he's done nearly all week. He finished two, two, with a two. couple. Yep. And that's why he wears 22, I <laughs> um, And, uh, yeah, Darren Ricketts, he finished with one for his name for Victoria. Kayla Paul in what we would suggest was probably a MVP, MVP performance. performance. Yep. Four and three, Ratchy with one, Reynolds with two, Parsons Kuntia, two and one, Aaron Batsis with the one and one, meant to play with the one, Plum with the two, and Travis Crowell, will he finish with five in the end. Um, not a bad day out in a final. That's something you can talk about uh, if you're Travis Crowell uh, in a uh, Victorian uh, win in a Nationals. Yeah, um, and what about South Australia? Where do you, where do you see MVP out there? Uh... It's a good question. Uh, can you give it to a player off the back of a one-quarter performance? I thought Conor McGee was outstanding in that last quarter. Um, Probably can. Yeah, whether, whether you can give it to a guy for one quarter of effort, I mean, that yeah, that one quarter was, was pretty impressive. Um, On the other hand, Brett Williams for three quarters was very good. Yes, very good point Especially as well. Especially under so. the pressure that he was uh, he was receiving. Yeah, spot on. I think uh, maybe an, uh, a roughy as well, uh, maybe Cam McLaughlin, he won a couple of face-offs in the middle, was <laughs> copped an absolute panding out there as well um, from uh, from the Victorians. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to put another roughy out there and a young man who got a goal in a, in a final was young Anthony Green. Worked yeah. really well up and back, you know, got a couple of, had an interception and, 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 and for a limited player on the field, and maybe they're looking for that because no one stood out uh, apart from Conor McGee in the last quarter. Yeah, for sure. You know, but when the pressure's uh, valve has been released and, you know, maybe there's a bit of party time out there, you know, I don't know. It, it's a tough one for South Australia. And I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, I mean, look, but to the South Australian boys credit, they have fought hard all week and it's a, and it's a, Again, like WA yesterday with the women, it is it is uh, a pat on the back to make any national final. They're bloody hard to make. Yeah, certainly agree. And uh, I think we're, we're probably in agreement for, for Victoria. Caleb Hall, um, you know, outstanding early when it mattered most. And um, they finished, he hit the scoreboard, assisted as well, and did it on the defensive end too. So, All right. um, great effort. As the him. coaches come up here to do the MVPs, we've got a microphone out there. So, we, uh, as they're just going through who they're going to uh, pick here, but uh, yeah, I don't know. He'd be about 40 to 1, Anthony Green, but I'm, I'm <laughs> you know what? I'm not a gambler. So, uh, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my, my, my $1 on Anthony Green. I am, as the two coaches just go about it. And uh, we'll hear from uh, Greg Mollison, uh, the uh, dual winning coach from the women and men box. Hey, guys. We on? I've got to get two. So, yeah, we've got our microphone out there. They're just handing out the uh, microphone for the MC. <laughs> Two in one. Uh, South Australia, congratulations on making the championship game. Congratulations on being here. Um, we really appreciate the uh, the contest. It's, it's a it's really good. Um, I'd like to thank while I've got an opportunity, Altona. I like Altona Lacrosse Club, all the workers, the volunteers, referees. Uh, we are. We all work hard. The game's developing. 
our, our referees are developing and uh, we're getting better and better. Our guys, thank you very much. Really appreciated working with you um, and look forward to maybe getting another chance in the future. Uh, MVP for South Australia was uh, Twisty. Thanks to everyone that uh, played some part in organising, either beforehand or during. Thanks to the spectators for coming out. Thanks to the SA boys for having a good week. And uh, congratulations to the Victorian team. Quite simply, you were a better team and it was well deserved. MVP for today's game for Victoria is Trav Kroll. Yeah. So uh, the MVP's just uh, being announced there. We've got Nathan Twisk for uh, South Australia and Trav Kroll just did enough to get over uh, Big Hawley there with the uh, five goals. So uh, I'll tell you what, I'll be buying uh, the boys a drink for everyone that gave me a, uh, a look <laughs> in. But Trav Kroll with an outstanding uh, game there. And uh, you know what? It's okay to be given him, but you've got to finish him, and he did a fantastic job. Yeah, exactly right. And uh, yeah, he's capped off a good week as uh, as Travis Kroll, the the fossil, as uh, you might have you might have heard from some of the, yeah, the, that, the big boys the, out the there. The boys so. were really happy with that selection too, just quietly. <laughs> yeah, seems like a pretty popular member there of, of the team out there. Yep. And uh, yeah, Nathan Twisk um, you know, had, had a good day out there, but um, you know has had a pretty good campaign as well. Yep. So yep. Um, good reward for you know pretty much a, a really good week as well. Yeah, and he did work really hard in defence too, uh, Twisky. I mean, while I love the offensive end, we see him at the pointy end doing his work, but it's the it's the defensive structures work as well that, uh, you know, he was very much uh, in that contest all day. And uh, But you know what? Uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, as the boys uh, start to meld out here, as you see the, the uh, Queensland boys come on to the, uh, and the WA boys, to start to meld out and the Victorians and the South Australians will join them very soon. Um, probably want to give a few shout outs while we've got a bit of bit of, bit of time. And uh, you know, to everyone who's been up on the camera, uh, and Lockie, you were up there today. And I'll tell you what, Pete uh, is up traveling up there as well and to Ben Stone and to the WA uh, guys who got up there earlier and all the, all the people that help out to bring uh, the Australian Lacrosse Network uh, to you, uh, to yourself. Lachlan Williams, uh, outstanding commentator, and uh, it's been great working with you for the weekend. Uh, thanks, Tony. Yeah, it's uh, yeah been fantastic to, to work alongside you, and you've uh, you've done a fantastic job, mate. That uh, that voice is going to deserve a, a well-earned rest after this, I think. It will, and uh, obviously to Charlotte Winnan and uh, Shandell Oliver, who came in today uh, just for the men's game, who got up and about with me uh, <laughs> for the uh, Queensland WA game, which went down to the last two seconds. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, to everyone involved with the Australian Lacrosse Network and the Artona Lacrosse Club putting on this event is fantastic. Uh, so kudos to you, Lacrosse Australia. But I'm going to save the big one to the end and Mr. Scotty Gill. Uh, without his work um, day to day and, and no one sees, he's the unsung hero of, uh, of what we do. Uh, we can't talk, we can't do what we do without Scotty Gill. And the pictures that come to you through the boxes and the pictures that come to you and the and the ability to get microphones out and uh, all this stuff just doesn't happen. And Scott Gill is the main man that does that. So huge thank you from me and uh, everyone around who uh, is involved with the Australian Across Network for Scott Gill. Yeah, very well said there, Tony. And right now, I think uh, we are going to uh, hand over very shortly to uh, uh, Paul Mollison, who will uh, just... Uh, present on behalf of Lacrosse Australia the uh, awards and uh, let's hear now from uh, Paul Mollison. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just get started with the formalities of the closing ceremony. I think you'll all agree we've just witnessed a terrific game of, of the final and all games of the event. Uh, welcome to the Alan Lua box, facili box facility and uh, on behalf of LA directors, uh, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for being here and, and uh, to all the players and coaches and officials. Uh, I've done a great job and we've had a great event. Uh, a couple of introductions. Uh, I'd like to introduce firstly 
uh, James Bleed and thank him for his work and all the members of the Altona Club. And I'd like to introduce both Natasha and Jet Lua uh, that will take the uh, presentations today. So as I mentioned, the Altona Lacrosse Club done a great job to put this, this event on. And to James and his team of Rod Maher, Danny McGee and an arm, army of volunteers, uh, thank you on behalf of all the players and officials for everything that you've done. It's been a, a well presented event. Uh, on the work side of things, uh, we've got Rhonda Hall. Big thank you, Rhonda has scored every game of this event, men's and women's. And a huge thank you to both Dan Hall and Brendan Hall for all the supply of all the electronic equipment, scoreboards and that sort of thing. Thank you, Dan and Brendan. I also, also make mention of the city of Hobson's Bay, uh, where this facility was able to uh, come to as it is now. We thank them for all their support of the sport and the club. Um, our Sport Australia partners, uh, who are our funding organisation on behalf of the federal government, and ALN, our, our media partners who have streamed as many games as they could. Thank you, ALN. <laughs> now, I'll just call on Altona President James Blee just to make a couple of... Thank you, Paul. Um, I just want to start with a few thank yous. So, first of all, thank you to all the player men's and women who've uh, have come here this week to compete. It was excellent spectacle. It was great lacrosse. And as I said last night, we can't wait to do this again uh, and keep growing box lacrosse. I also want to thank um, all of the supporters and fans who've come down here, taken time off work. Uh, really appreciate you creating the atmosphere that you have. Thank the referees for all the help, both during this and through the big box season. All of the people who volunteered, who run the gates, and from Vic Box, um, and who've helped out during the week. And I just want to take a quick second to mention that um, one of the most amazing aspects of Australian sport is this, the sporting club. It's not something they have in America. And when I came over here, I didn't realize how special it is. It's a community. And yesterday and all this week, i just been blown away about the passion that the people who, who you know, play and participate in sporting clubs in Australia have for the sport and for their community. And I just want to give a huge thanks, and, and I'm so proud of Altona and all the members and all the players uh, who've come down and helped out. It's really special, uh, and it, it really has been a wonderful event. So thank you all, and um, let's again do this again bigger next year. Thanks, Paul. Uh, now directly on the event, or just to mention to the uh, the president's team, made up of New South Wales players and and a few players from Victoria, uh, great effort for the event, and we want to see you again next year. Uh, to Queensland, uh, terrific uh, progression over the, the course of the tournament. Very tight game today, and failed at the end, but uh, great combat with with SA. Sorry, with um, Queensland. Got that right. Uh, to SA and Victoria, terrific game today, and uh, we'll get on with the presentation from the final. Uh, I'd just like to call the referee in chief of the Box Across Nationals, Jason Lawrence, to make the presentation to the referees. Um, congratulations for the uh, officiating team today, led by Crew Chief Steve Green, along with Brendan Pickerton and Luke Keesing. And just introducing uh, Natasha Lua and Jet Lua, who will make the presentations, firstly to the Victorian captains, and then we'll get the captains to read out their team. Uh, Victoria captains, Caleb Hall, Keith Nyberg, Chris Plum.
I think just before we um, present um, to the rest of the team, just wanted to really recognise that been, obviously there's been some recognition of all the work that's gone in behind the scenes and the effort to run a tournament like this. But being a player, I just want to really recognise the time, effort and money that's been put forward by all the players that have attended, both the men and the women, especially all the teams coming from interstate. It's great to see Queensland back down here. It's great to see the guys from New South Wales here again. And thank you for WA getting across and obviously South Australia as well. Obviously, we love to play box lacrosse in Victoria and we love it in, as an Australian sport. So I really appreciate you guys after a couple of years off of not having it at Nationals. You all came across here and we had, a, I think, a really great tournament and it's great to see everyone back and involved and talking, thinking about box lacrosse. Um, I really look forward to a time when we can start going interstate for this tournament. It's obviously been in Victoria a couple of times and I appreciate how hard it is and how expensive it is for the teams to come from interstate to play us here at home. So I really hope it starts to come where we can, we can travel interstate and it's a bit more of an even playing field. So I just want to recognise that and thank all you guys for coming across. Starting with our goalies, Blake Watson. Nick Sheedy. Toby Templeton. Tim Ratchie. Tyler Reynolds. Lockie McDonald. Lucas Parsons. Gab Doyle. Marcus Arambatsis. Dan Mentorplay. Darren Ricketts. Tony Joseph. Aaron Aldred. Alistair Glutner, Dan Hall, Travis Kroll, and Brendan Freeman. And our two coaches, Rod Ma and Greg Mollison. Number one fan, <laughs> Brad Mollison. Yeah. And I'll just start. Uh, Jet Lua will just make the presentation of the Championship Cup to the captains. Keith, Caleb, and Chris Plum. Congratulations, Victoria. Congratulations, everybody. That concludes the formalities, and we look forward to 2024. Thank you. All right, and uh, back we are here as the uh, presentations uh, wrap up. Lachlan Williams uh, again. Again, thank you so much for the weekend. You do so much for this sport in this uh, state commentating. So been an absolute pleasure to have you on board, mate. No, thank you very much, Tony. It's uh, yeah, been an absolute privilege to, to be alongside yourself. Um, to see some fantastic box across. We've, we've seen uh, you know a couple of Victorian seasons, but to see the best around the country come and, and do their thing down here um, at Altona, it's, it's been fantastic. And um, you know, as it was echoed just in those uh, sentiments there, for everyone from coming into state, particularly you guys from Atlanta, Scott and yourself, um, 
you know, it's time away from your families and um, to, to come here and bring the sport to, to the wider community. It's a yeah, fantastic work, so thank you very much. Uh, look, and uh, the reason we do it is for the uh, viewers out there that can't make this great sport and uh, to everyone, not only locally but uh, around the country and around the world as we've seen uh, here and uh, Canadian Cross League coming down in about uh, well, a couple of weeks I think uh, you know, they'll be here but uh, it's fantastic to be able to bring live free lacrosse from Australia you know we're a, we're a proud nation of lacrosse players can't wait to get over to the world in San Diego and uh, rip it up in the men's competition this year um, but uh, for myself in 2024 and do it all again so until the sticks are swinging we'll see you next time on the australian lacrosse network